Go ahead, drink it. Drink your drink. Your drink. drink your drink. Drink your drink. Bark for me. Bark for me. Woo! The European thing? He is the founder of YouTube, Google. Dude, it's it's oh. her sister's divorcee. And her sister's ex-husband. That's nepotism. Well, that's what ex-nepotism. That's nepotism. Yeah, that's that's He's why. Out of her fucking mind. That's why my joke is Sergey Brin. Well, it's just the the name of the guy. Yeah, you're gonna say it. Why don't you say Ser Long, Gay Bowser? <laughs> Dude, that was fucking maybe, tight. Maybe I'm built for this. That was funny. <laughs> maybe I really do have what it takes, It boys. was a Sarah Long Gay Bowser. <laughs> I like that joke. Thank God we're recording. Needed that. Needed that to are pop we, off. Are we recording? Well, yeah, it's, you know, it's just making sure. And then my other one was just this. Just a dog. And I'd say, smiling. are you wet yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh man please make at least five dog fucking jokes to susan wojinski never what never coward love her too much you do not you as much as not as much as her dog <laughs> <laughs> do you think dogs can differentiate between like a dog's pussy and like a human's pussy a hundred percent yeah you're wondering if dogs can differentiate between p- pussy like i think you feel like you're if you're a white woman no, that's right? a great question and you're getting i feel fucked, like we and a rottweiler's going to town on you <laughs> <laughs> right? okay yeah and, okay. and and it's and its name is like bruce right okay and bruce is just bruce. fucking it's just nailing you like a fucking hound that's what <laughs> he is like a dog is, no as like, a hound. like like a hound like a, as a as a hound. Because he's a Rottweiler, and uh, the right. hound is a different, different type sure. of dog. different class. But he's, you know, he's going, oh, and so <laughs> do you think that Bruce is like, damn, this is this hits different. What is this? I see. Yeah. So you're not saying, can do they know that it's not a dog? Here. You're saying, do they have preference? I have, I, it's actually the first one. The first well, one. I, okay. The, I have a piece of You're that. wondering if they know they're fucking a human? He's to throw in the ring here. Yeah. Is that apparently... Like embedded in their DNA, dogs can understand humans pointing. Oh, so do you think it's embedded in their DNA? The, 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 the inside of a white hey, woman's f- vagina. Yeah. <laughs> maybe the art. Maybe the article skipped that. Yeah. Maybe they. Maybe the academics don't really. <laughs> maybe it's just banned info. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know. Yeah. That's what they found out in Japan. This is what in the World CIA War II. is hiding. This is what the Germans found out. Yeah. And when we hired those scientists, yeah. they hid the information. That's Area 52. Mm. <laughs> it's just a dog that was like, yo. It's just a dog bone logo next to it's it. It's actually standing dogs with like uh, big science suits in clipboards. <laughs> and then women in cages. White women specifically. Oh, well. And the dogs are walking down the rows. <laughs> I, I have a way to get us out of this. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, oh, wait, wait. I got it. Sound speed. That's the first time I've ever done it. Wow, and it shows. That clap was miserable. Can we get it out of the way? Deep I bracket. sat and I broke another chair. Oh, that's right. Can we get that out of the way? Nick is super fat. Yeah. Nick is super fat. I don't like fat. the blues. Yeah. Uh, so um, <laughs> we were all singing the same song, and it was really good. Uh, I sat in my, my chair. I'm actually fucking really sad about it. You know what? I'm sad. Yeah, it's weird. Because you broke your chair with I your love, fat I ass. Lo- <laughs> you're sad because you're you're a you're a like a... <laughs> You're a big horse of a man. Yeah, maybe don't engorge yourself on in and out. You're all a big the time. old horse. Yeah, with like the, huge. The Clydesdale sits and goes, "Why did that happen?" Cutting sugar is done. Nothing. If you were an actual uh-huh. horse, you'd be shot dead. Why the long <laughs> face, idiot? Yeah. <laughs> and so you should know that. Run and tell that. And I wish. Boy. And I this wish is, you were. This is dark. It's not dark. He fucking broke the chair with his big weird yeah. body. If you were in the, in the lab, the dogs would just be so mad at you. Dude, right the now. dogs would be. You would. I would say you'd be squirting your fucking eyes out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they would. They would rock your world. <laughs> Dude, I had a, such a different. Like, no, okay, no. The, on the dog fucking, right. I had actually a really important <laughs> Can we question. Circle back for a moment. I was thinking we bounced off. Too I just. Far. I had a really important question, but I forgot it. Was that all for a waste? I tried to get us out. Oh, yeah, you broke the chair. You also had something. I felt bad. I didn't want to step on you. No, it's okay. I can still get Let's, us out later. Uh, no. I'll, I'll dig us out later. <laughs> I kind of want to stay here for a while. No, we'll go back to the women in cages. We'll no, go no, back no, to dude, that. Uh, What's well, the, the dogs? Wi- no, sorry. The dogs have clipboards. The Someone's yeah. taking sense No, now. let's go back. <laughs> Circle back. Dude, I just, I lost hey, it. Hey, I got it. I got it. You know what? I heard this great argument for veganism. 
All right. Okay. Do you, do you think? Do you think it's okay to kill animals and eat them? Aiden. <sighs> no. Okay. Do you think it's okay to fuck animals? No. Well, it's more pain for the animal to kill it than to fuck it. Ooh. You've gotten checkmated just checkmate, now. Checkmate. Checkmate. Think There's about no that. more moves for Chew you. On that. You either have to be okay with White. fucking animals or okay with killing them. For I have me. a question. Wait, do if you... the metric is pain, uh -huh. they don't feel any pain because they die instantly. Well, like, but they also live tortured lives. Wait, well, no, you're, well, you're adding not. that. Like a grass-fed Because theoretically, chicken. theoretically, you could, you could call those farms unethical, but if we could another farm well. kills them instantly, treat them then right. is that one unethical? But I feel like if you're like if I'm a cow, right? Yeah, okay. Let's imagine. Well, my name's, okay. My name's like, Bruce, and then <laughs> like I have, my, cow. I have my friend Cow, or like more of a cow, and his name's like Joe, and he's like okay. fat and he breaks chairs. Actually, let's call him Nick. Okay. And wait, why would you call? What's up? It's confusing for the story because we're I'm for, here. I don't think it's confusing. I think it lines up with one what we cow, already think. Bruce, my one cow, Nick. Okay. And the, I see you get your fucking shit chopped. Yep. Just. <laughs> And it's pump, 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 and your blood's pumping out, and yeah. I'm watching that. Do. Yeah. You think that? Do you, do. Do you think that's like good for me, or do you think it's traumatizing? I think you're thinking about, damn, where's all the, where's all the hay, and all the, no, I'd, where's all I'd, the, I'd be cut up. Grass. I'd be like, no, my day one. No, dude, <laughs> he's capping, and I remembered what I was gonna talk about. We we're talking about like come being inside, like from a dog. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I remembered it. Listen, he is capping, and I wanted to bring this up. Every time <laughs> I make fun of. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a huge scoop. Every time I make fun of Durs for being a fucking idiot. Every uh -huh. time. Yep. Durs will do this thing where he'll like he'll eat food and then he'll stare at the ground and then he'll be like He'll cover it. He'll cover it. Yeah. But there's nothing there. Right. Yeah. Because his body is telling him that he needs to like hide his food. Yeah. And I'm like, there's there's no dirt. You're not pushing any dirt, you fucking moron. Uh -huh. and stupid, then, and, stupid animal. And he'll just be like, and I'm like, Ugh. and Ludwig will be like, dude, he doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know that he's doing that. And then I'm like, yes, he does. He he like he's a cat. He knows he's a cat. And he's like, he doesn't know he's a cat. You know what's interesting about what Slime's saying is like, so he brought this up like a big point. I don't know what he's yeah. saying. No, 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 listen, listen, listen. I don't know. Shut, shut the fuck up. Listen, so he says he doesn't know he's a cat, right? Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. So you, but that's what Ludwig's saying. So you don't think the dogs know? The dogs... <laughs> this, this more has to do with how Ludwig <laughs> views animals because in order to defend Durs, who he uh -huh. loves, he said he's so fucking stupid that he doesn't know like what a cat is, even though he's a cat. And he's saying, he's trying to bring this argument about cows. One's fat and bulbous and disgusting and engorged named Nick. One's cringe named Eamon uh -huh. and has like one udder. Right. It's all fucked up and wrinkled up. I like uh -huh. that part. One's a Chad. I have two Slime the cow. Yo, isn't it crazy this guy sucks at Fortnite? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Okay, I, but here, here's my argument is that you are trying to create this idea that like, oh, you watch your friend cow get fucking electrocuted in the head, you'd be sad. But you don't even think Durs knows he's a cat. So what the you fuck are you talking about? Dude, no yeah. one cares. Plus, you got zero kills today. This is slightly... Slight, I beat him. I won. Slightly related. Stan stream yesterday. I don't know if you guys saw the Stan stream. Yeah. Oh, dude, that man. was so his out little, of the blue. His talking interviews... About, it's like, about it's like asking if I was up for Roseanne. He was He was asking... <laughs> <laughs> Set the 9 a.m. alarm for that. <laughs> Call dude. It, dude, a All new, right. new Call season cops. of King of Kings just dropped, bro. <laughs> bro can't do this somebody so. watches <laughs> look <laughs> hey that was for slime Continue. stance goes on bro it was the irl <laughs> yeah so no yo you tuned into fraser <laughs> <on Twitch. laughs> that's must see tv <laughs> he was asking bystanders at i i think like venice i think it was venice uh -huh, beach, yeah, it was venice beach uh, for sure. he was showing them pictures of us and asking them if they thought we were cut or uncut so weird i didn't know that was happening yeah and then i saw it right? later uh, and the, a clip Did got you know dropped. Uh, I saw it live. I didn't know it was going to happen beforehand. Yeah, that's so interesting. A clip got dropped in the Discord related to this. And uh, they asked like, some guy uh, if he thinks I'm cut or uncut. And he's like, cut. And then <laughs> Stance asks him to explain. And the photo they're using is one of me sitting next to Durs. And then the guy just goes into this spiel about how we all like some furry pussy sometimes. Whoa. Insinuating Whoa. that I like to fuck the cat, and that's why I'm cut. Yeah, well, that, yeah. Cut, that, that, that just was, doesn't follow. That guy was it like, it doesn't. It's pretty like smart. A, it's he's a based, delusional he, clip. He's based, but his logic makes no <laughs> sense. <laughs> his name, Jason R. 
<laughs> That's sick, dude. So you fuck cats now. That's sick. You're the one in the bestiality corner here. Whoa. You're the one. You're Whoa. crafting a whole no. argument about yeah, how you thought about it was how okay. animals feel the, the the pulses of an orgasm. I'm saying that I'm <laughs> vegan now. I'm vegan. I'm saying you you meat eaters better fuck them too. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't know if I want to do this podcast anymore. <laughs> you don't? Why not, bro? Don't what pigs? You know pigs come hard. I do. I actually do. <laughs> That's know a fun that. fact. How'd you know that? Well, like, are you talking about quantity it's or like, speed? It, it's like one of those gross fun facts that like come some up some. Come up to me. Are you guys getting up? What? Come hard. No one can hear you. They're not going to hear you. You're still bad at Fortnite. Okay. Wow. He's like really uh, bad. You know what? I like the I like the animal fucking vegan argument. Right. I think that's a good argument. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Just be clear. You just the, a cheetah, just quivering. Argue. Yeah. What? You're in the beast, <laughs> yeah. you're like bestiality better than eating meat, which you do. <laughs> just, I love that sentence. I don't eat meat. What, you do. I have not eaten meat. You know, I haven't really thought about this. He is the one arguing it. Yeah. So he had quit. What? When was that? Since when did you quit? I quit this. Afternoon. And how long will you okay. make it? How, how long will you make it? How What's long? Up? How long will you be vegan for? Fucking. Ooh, uh, it's knows? indefinite. Right. That's yeah. The last Forever. Time. Right. Yeah. So when did you have sushi today? That's the goal. Well, pescatarian. He actually, no, he actually. No, oh, he you're actually not vegan. So you would fuck the fish. I'd fuck a fish. I'd fuck a fish. I only you eat what, what I fuck. It's a fish light. That's tight. Yeah. <laughs> Do anyway, welcome back to the yard. <laughs> yeah, welcome to our goddamn. Oh, we never did it. No. Welcome to our goddamn oh, terrible episode podcast. What a late one. Oh, this is the best episode we've ever had so far. And wow. I'm not kidding. Off I, the gate. I want to know if you, Ludwig, remember shoplifting this weekend. What? You you shoplifted this weekend. No. And you why don't are you saying remember? it like that? <laughs> no, I didn't. No, don't, why are you talking about no, content, I, boys? But I didn't. I didn't. You did shoplift this weekend. What? What'd when? You, what'd you take? We went to that poor corner store in the oh. middle of Wait, hold on. nowhere, New Hampshire. Was it a corner store for poor people? Or was no. it, or no, was yeah. it a, was a, it, a corner yeah. store? It was a nice corner store in okay. the middle of nowhere, yeah, New called Hampshire. called Walgreens. Uh, un unfortunate. It was not Walgreens. It was literally Walgreens. It was not Walgreens. It was, it was an literally unbranded Walgreens. store. It was an unbranded store in the Walgreens. middle of New Hampshire. Why is this so contested? You know, we went to a little spot called Target. <laughs> so you know when you go. So you know when you go to Walgreens and you see a giant red sign out front. That wasn't there. It was Walgreens and it said, in Bethel, and it Maine, said, and you're and it dumb. Said something different. It was Walgreens store. in Bethel, Maine. You're just dumb. Well, why? Why? Let here. Back up. Hey, why is this so contested? Hey, kiddo. this feels like obvious information. You, this information probably doesn't matter. See, you it think, also doesn't matter. You think he would be right about the store, but he can't even remember the item he stole. Oh, you we, have, we have them. We have we have something coming in. Info. You're fucking stupid. It I, was Walgreens in Bethel, Maine. The only you big town them? outside we of New Remain. We yes, we were. In hey, do you remember a really fucking cringe guy and me coming in? And then the clerk's like, oh, yeah. No way. No way. Dude, no we way. We were an hour into three. the drive. No, you were so no answer. Aiden's right. You're for talking the, about, wait, what, what did I steal? What did I steal? You stole deodorant. That was not an. You're so dumb. God, I hate you. This whole weekend, he's just been dumb, bro. You did have a whole ass weekend with him. He stole it. You even said it in the car. You I, were like, oh, Hey, here's the thing fuck. about the podcast is that we need to tell this story eventually. So let's just get it going. I <laughs> stole deodorant in Bethel, Maine from a Walgreens. Or maybe perhaps a different story. No, it was... Okay, so here's the thing. So we went... Me, so and, Aiden, me and Aiden had a week <laughs> together. I was dead sober. Yeah, of course I remember. I fucking drove. He I put driving, that in my pocket. So. I didn't steal it on purpose, okay? I we were we were we went we hung out all week. We went to ski together with my friends from high school. First time I've gone skiing in eight years. Mm -hmm. A uh, long time. You still got to it go last year. <laughs> Aiden, tell him. He actually does. Amen. Hate that. I love that. Uh, it was a thigh burner, but but I we we, we go up in in we we uh, we fly to Boston, go to New Hampshire, see my mom, drive up to Maine. And uh, and we stop by, and I got to get my face product. We get like ping pong balls, and I slipped deodorant in my pocket, and I spent ninety seven dollars, and I walked out, and I accidentally left the deodorant in the pocket. It's just, I, it, like it's not a felony. You didn't want to go over a hundred. This is the fucking. This is what you fucking. You were like, this takes me over a hundred. I don't. No, wanna... it was. It was like I. Just, I just left. I realized the moment I left the store, but I was like, I'm not gonna go back in and be like, hey, sir, I almost stole this. Why not? I just wanted to see if you even remembered shoplifting. I do if remember. it even mattered. No, because it's not shop. You're saying it's shoplifting, like I did it intentionally i think it's accidental shoplifting there we go but the word is still there manslaughter they have a different word for it <laughs> you're so funny because you're like yeah i stole yeah. but i don't want to go back in and like pay for it what, <laughs> like, what am i gonna do like go, what am i gonna do go in and exchange money for products like why would i do after that? i've already I've got too out, much money to do that. after i've left the door which is like 
as much distance from being right no, in front of the it door. it was far, and it was a Walgreens, too, so it's like a chain, mm. you know what I mean? Well, they, yeah. They what, should get taken down a notch. What's the biggest thing you guys ever stolen that wasn't software? Oh, okay, that's a good distinction. Uh, I already know. I, I, I used to, uh, can we get a bleep on this, Archie? I used to hit up the, the uh, when I was in high school. What part are you bleeping? Uh, the store. Oh. Yeah. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I would I would steal art supplies constantly. <laughs> oh, that's expensive. It's really expensive, and I just wanted to paint, and I and I couldn't afford to buy a, a like, the, like one brush, a nice brush, a nice oil painting brush. Right. It's like seventy They're bucks. Really expensive. And then it's like, well, I need like ten more of these. The fuck? They do have good art supplies. And I used to and I used to just things. hit a fucking lick. Yeah, I probably stole over a thousand dollars. Bro, dude, I'm just I'm having a. I keep dog, saying it, but I want it blurred. A slum dog millionaire flashback. Uh. My, in eighth grade, this kid, uh, that he had a, a bunch of magic cards, and he got heisted. And it was my friend and his friend that fucking heisted him. They broke into his locker, and they took every rare out of his fucking deck. Kept him at school? Yeah, because they like played at school oh. and stuff. And it was the last day of school. Joyous time, right? Everyone's so happy that this Pumps. is the last day. It's yeah. summer happening. This kid's crying in, in the open. And he's just going through his thing. He's like, I stole all my rares. But the thing is, he's saying this to us. Who knows what happened? My <laughs> friend who stole them in there in his pocket is looking at him in the eyes. And he's like, dude, that sucks. Oh. Dude, it was fucked That's up. Psychopathic. It was psychopathic. And you didn't say anything? Fuck no, bro. I'm fucking Did you Switzerland, steal baby. No. I didn't care about magic. Dude. I was bad at it, so I never played. Oh, right. That's it's, like that one Jay Z line where it's like, I know guys who showed up to their to the funeral of the guy who I killed. Yeah, like, and, you know, it's like, hey, you uh, you unlocked a memory in me. Yeah, what with happened? That. Uh, so I'm, now I'm thinking about the largest things that have been stolen from me. And uh, when I was when I was in the eighth grade, or no seventh grade, when I was in seventh grade, uh, I had, I had saved like every dollar I had like ever been given. And I had like a stack of money. It was like eight hundred dollars. That was like when you're in seventh grade. It's like a lot of fucking money. Eight hundred dollars. Why did you? Yeah. Why did you save it? What were you just, saving up? I for? just wanted to like buy what something you mean eventually. Saved up, bro. Your I had, a, I, had I had I had eight hundred dollars in seventh grade just in my bedroom, and I had it in like a like a jar. And my mom didn't like that I kept it like out in the open like that. So she put in my without telling me she put it in my wallet, which was also in my room. And uh, I owed my friend Jake money I, I like lost a bet to him or like something like something stupid so i brought my wallet to school i didn't look like inside of it, it i should have realized because it was like you know much fatter than it normally is because like it wasn't all hundreds it was like 20s and shit um so i go to school and i put it in my back pocket and at some point it fell out and it never got reported and it someone definitely found it and oh, took, okay take 800 so you didn't get, you didn't steal anything you just got no you know, i'm saying a time i got stolen from from me oh, okay yeah yeah, uh, yeah. And, or someone literally swiped it from like you know how like, behind your seat there's like the opening yeah. in school and it's like you, they can see your ass right they, like they hit a lick whatever it was uh i cried fucking so hard i was that, so sad that's a payday for and me. Then i got picked up from school early because i was so sad and i was like damn damn bro i lost it all <laughs> remember his pickpocketing face yeah, I could have yeah. fucking pickpocketed you when you were young. No I shot. Pickpocketed the shit out of town. No you still tried to shot. Do it. We were on the train in Italy, and you were like, "Let me." Let me I didn't try, bro. You. you had some good lift. You did. He I actually did. got me. You took my phone. <laughs> I bump in Aiden, and then I come out with a phone, and then later he's like, where, where, "Where's my phone?" He's, he's walking fucking twenty meters ahead of us, uh, fucking because he's an asshole. But then he all, realizes his phone's gone. We should all carry uh, a little coin, and we have an agreement with each other. If you can pickpocket someone's coin from them, they Ooh, they lose. Can, I actually like them that they lose some bet. as hard as you can. They get they lose some sort you of show them. stakes. Just an yeah. indefinite thing. And then thing. you get yeah. you just get one slap across the face. You guys spent a whole fucking romantic ass weekend week together, and all you fucking you come back with a fucking I, how you are stole criminals. Deodorant. The Bro, fuck is that shit? No, nah, that was what Can he you, popped in with. Are you, I just want, are you I, kidding me? There was a lot more than that. I just wanted to ask him if you remember. I want to know the best part of the trip, the middle part of the trip, and the worst part of the trip. Well, best part for Aiden was me. I was a treat the whole weekend. Was he a delight? I was nonstop all weekend, Wait, just in what? his ear, making jokes, just chirping. Look at how right. look at how smitten he is. Hey, it was, <laughs> <laughs> he just it hates when Ludwig's right. That's non what he hates. Nonstop. <laughs> He's just so we charming. landed. <laughs> we got. We landed at LAX. We we walk off the plane. I'm like one sec. I gotta go pee, and he did versions of this the entire week. Uh, but every in public places, he would like point a finger to me and be like, "Hey, that's 
That's Aiden from the yard right there. Oh, just, in a, just in a public place. <laughs> and then uh, we get off. I'm like, I gotta go pee. He's like, oh, Aiden from the yard. He's a piss boy right now. This guy's <laughs> okay. gotta go pee. I like and I'm it back. now. This guy's Here I am. In the bathroom. Dude. And we keep walking. There's a guy right in front of us with no headphones on. Yeah, he's just heading no old piss down over there. Like he's doing it. it Dude, like a stuff. lot of people can hear us. I like that. And, and he did versions of that the entire week in public places. Yeah, on the plane, he'd be like, "I gotta work," and be like, "This guy never has a day off." And I turn back. Dude, you're just becoming me. I also are you <laughs> slid, bored? I slid my <laughs> phone over to him on the plane. <laughs> and then he, he dude he okay we're sitting next to each other with two of us and then i'm i'm like settling in and he's just doing his thing he's being goofy ludwig the whole weekend this is are this you off is of gummy six days straight no, or sometimes but mostly goofy, not. funny ludwig where he's just he's just trying to make me laugh every minute of the trip wow. which sometimes sometimes it's really funny but sometimes it's really fucking annoying <laughs> and and the lady comes over to ask us um if we want like a drink or like a snack uh, before before we take off. And as she is like le- like cu- walking down from the front of the plane to get to us, Ludwig's like, take a look at this. He slides his phone over to me. Butter side down. I and, tap it twice. And he's like, yeah, you got to take a peek. <laughs> and she leans over to like ask me what drink I want as I pick up the phone. And it's just Homer Simpson with a giant cock out. <laughs> <laughs> Pink I frosted like donut like, around his car. I just melt because I'm like, I'm looking. I don't know if she saw it. Like, oh, and I man. just flip it back over, and I'm like, I'm just water's fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. have the biscoff. You, you cookies. know what? He got it from me because I, you know, he he rides like business and first class and shit. So he'll always be on the plane before us. I'm I, I'm boarding the plane. This was when when did we fly last? Oh, years together? ago, bro. It like wasn't a year. Back, <laughs> like, I couldn't even remember. It was uh, bro. it was it was London, and it was I think we were boarding, and I'm walking past him, and because he's already sat down, and I have ready and loaded up like a picture of a really big old like a fat old guy with like a huge drippy cock, mm-hmm. and it's just drippy. on my phone like Safari, right? I I typed that in to find it, right? And I just have big, it drippy cock, and then uh and I walk by Ludwig, he's like looking at his phone, I'm like, hey, check this out, he's like, huh? And it's just boom right in his face, you mm-hmm. know. And then I just keep walking, hit and run, easy. Yeah, <laughs> God I, is that. I sit down and I forget about it. And then I open up my phone while we're like about to take off to get last little drip there of she, internet. There she blows. And uh, and boom, hello. And there's a person right next to me, and I'm like, Jesus Christ! I hope I didn't see that. <laughs> so so it just really is a circle. It's a, it's Dark Souls. I went through the whole weekend <laughs> where I would I, I was like, okay, there's. Aiden and then also my friend Reed, who are very easy laughers. And so every social interaction, I was like, gotta make one of them laugh. And every word I did was that, but he can't, it, it became problematic because I, I started to develop like a tick where like he turned any, into you any, while we were gone. Any, he turned song, into song. any song that would play, I would do the Aiden's cringe. But it, it, like a lot of songs are playing because DJ on the beat, Zach was switching it. So probably like a hundred songs have gone through <laughs> and it got to the point where like these guys from high school were like, dude, like, like it's every time. I don't know. And <laughs> so, <laughs> like, I was like, I would have to like mumble it to myself because I'd be thinking it because it just became automatic. Like no matter what the song is. Yeah. And he would also be doing the weed thing where he just replaces lyrics with smoking weed. Uh-huh. And it, but the entire, the entire weekend. Yeah. What, so what happened? So it's Why softly did mumble it? so different. It's because I didn't have stream. Stream is like my outlet, so I didn't have it. So I was just, I was all pent up, yeah, and I was just, just bottled up, just fucking giving it to fucking Aiden all fucking weird. week, baby. Just t- <laughs> no, I was, I was, I was just giving it to him all week, dude. That's God, crazy. I was beating his dick. Yeah, was, you're a fucking yeah, Rottweiler. Yeah, yeah. I was cuddling fucking, in on him. This, and he's just uh, some, uh, some Southern belle, just some white woman down this south. It started <laughs> at the airport when we left. Like it, it started from the moment we got dropped off by the parking shuttle. From the moment oh, we yeah, got back bright to LAX. And early, 6 a.m. We were walking, we were walking um from one terminal to another. Cause they we went to the mm-hmm. correct one on paper, but they were like, Yeah, this flight's out of this one today. So we were walking down the street and he just starts reciting uh UK drill lyrics that he's made up. <laughs> and he's yeah, just like dude. trying he's he's rapping in the drill accent. And and just coming up with like one liners and this for, for, keeps really going quick, throughout really quick, the for anyone who didn't watch last week's episode, the intro video on YouTube to last week's episode is Ludwig doing this. Yeah, Aiden just sent that raw to our group and chat. And what I literally wrote in our private group chat was this is the funniest you've ever been. Yeah. 
Ludwig yeah. has peaked. Uh, I, I came up with that 5 a.m. raw. He, that was like my third draft. He kept making them up. Like that was that was just one of many examples. I had a few over little, the course of like two days. I had a few. It was all UK rap, and it would all be about how British people. <laughs> I don't even know how I got to this, but we were like, yeah, British people fucking drink hot cum. <laughs> well, yeah. Just And then I just do the accent and be like, frothing, just frothing yeah. cum. <laughs> just a good old cup of frothy well, cum. I'm fucking Liverpool, uh, just drinking cum. I mean, <laughs> just yeah, sport cum, be a bit of milk in there, yeah, a bit of cream. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably this comes proper snide, huh? Proper proper oh. cum. <laughs> so imagine, proper fresh. imagine him talking about <laughs> frothy snide cum that. while we're walking down the sidewalk <laughs> as, at LAX, but people are walking by us. Oh, yeah. People they can so many people can hear all of these yeah, things the dude, entire time. He, yeah, Aiden's the perfect guy for this because I do the same thing with him, right? It, it, Aiden is like he's like locked in here with you, <laughs> mm-hmm. right? When when he's it's just you and I'm him. I'm the opposite of Rorschach. Yeah, I'm, exactly. <laughs> at all times. But if it's like me and Ludwig, that's like a ping pong if we're doing that because it's weird. I always see you as like whenever you're off stream, you're like, oh, you know, usually busy. You're shut off, right? Because you already dumped all your your mm-hmm. your 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 joke come right yeah into the into the bucket it does get sucked out of me and so <laughs> too much come so far but if it's we're if <laughs> so much we could pump all it right up. fine we could pump you it up. dump all your joke juice <laughs> right yeah there you go your, your <laughs> hot sweet, creamy hot joke <laughs> juice. Frothy yeah juice. your sunny sea my hot frothy <laughs> joke juice <laughs> And you're Fucking you're just floated. just ropes of this shit stored just roping everywhere with my juice like a, like a pre chum. Really, uh, a- you got a lot of miles. He got a lot of miles out of dog ropes this weekend. This too, is a dude. return to form. Uh-huh. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, when we I notice this when we do travel, you're way funnier. Because yeah, if you don't have the You're fucking, separated. you don't have the valve, you yeah. know. I don't have the stream. Like I'm not uh, came back today nonstop. I'm up at nine a.m. I've been doing shit it's like six now. You fucking respond. It turns to me. off. It turns Big off. Big in the no, building. It's working. No circumstances too. We were at the first night we got there. We didn't go to Maine right away. We went to go get dinner with uh, your mom and family friends. Paloma, please. And uh, <laughs> Paloma, and we're at dinner, and uh, Ludwig at the head of the table. You know he's got a. Uh, one of his closest friends, uh, can I just Jake? Jake? Yeah. yeah, and uh, Jake's parents are there. A couple other people are there. Uh, and every- flying everybody's around. Ha- yeah. Everybody's hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> got dicks in bots. <laughs> yeah, that got you. <laughs> and, and and the streamer mode never turns off. We're at the end of dinner. The waitress is coming up, picking up shit, and he looks at the whole table. And most of this table has to be over the age of fucking. 55, 60, and he's like fucking any dessert Daniels tonight? Any dessert <laughs> Daniels? <laughs> that translates. I that translates. That. They'll oh, get that. Yeah. Where are my dessert Daniels at? Yeah, and it's just things like that always, and it doesn't matter who the person he is, like he is speaking to. Yeah. It will always be that <laughs> mode no matter yeah. what. I was just diffusing though because they were, they were talking <laughs> politics for a moment. I was like, hey, let's go Brandon and Biden. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> 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 Old people love that one. What did they say? They They just laughed. Ugh. Yeah. It's not a response. That's so funny. You, you can you, say things that people can't respond to. Yeah, that's true. But some people are so like mad that they'll be like, uh, 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 uh. Mm-hmm. I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they'll be all weird about it. Yeah. Okay. I think that this is the funniest thing to me that he did oh. that he did all weekend. And we would have so we were sleeping in the same king bed at the place we were staying in. Love that. And there would be these every night. There would be these moments of like laying in the dark. And like Ludwig would just start cracking him, like he would just start saying shit. Mm-hmm. And, and everybody and I, knows it's funnier when you're about to fall yes, asleep and yes. you're sleeping with a friend, bunk beds or whatever. And one night he hops on his phone, and I guess you're just really, <laughs> forgot about that. you're just really, you oh, must be really fucking bored because he hops into like the browse um, section on Twitter, the and you know how they added spaces. Like the clubhouse oh, feature. I yeah. saw you join this. I remember and, this. and you can join like random spaces of people you don't follow if mm-hmm. you go to the browse section. And these things don't have a lot of people in them. Well, like, there was groups- a, there was one that was like Moaners Got Talent. Mm-hmm. That was, was just a big like thing early moaning on. Moaning competitions. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So he's he's hopping in these and immediately requesting speaker access and he gets it every time. I'm verified. Because he's verified and has a million followers. They just give so it they, to me. So they just give it out. Like he hops in, the, the first one he hops in, he's in one called What is Wifey Material to You? And it's just... <laughs> Instant speaker for that one. Instant speaker. And that's so insane. And the last one he goes into is called One Piece of Doffy versus Jack, which I assume is a Luffy typo. And no, no, it's a character. Okay. 
Okay, Doffy versus Jack. And it's these guys who are like obviously die hard uh, One Piece fans. And there's not that many people in it at the beginning. There's like 20 or so people. But when you follow somebody that's in a space, you see it at the top of your timeline I instead of. Know this. I saw this. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know this. I got this notification. So yeah. because he jumped into it, this call of like 20 One Piece fans now turns into a call with like 500 listeners. There's like a thousand As he plus. just sits there. And two of the guys in the call are like, have thick fucking London accents. And it's very funny. Like It's like that's Omid so level London insane. accents. Oh, yeah. And uh, they're just going back and forth about it. And he gets speaker access. I imagine, it, let me let me predict. He's like, yeah. boys, 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 look. Did he do that? No. no. Me? Yeah. No. Him. no, he didn't do that. Wah, wah. It, he lets it sit for a while. Like, he gets his speaker access, and we just sit there and listen for a while. And and, and he just waits for a little lull in the conversation Wait after the they're going too. back and forth on, on mutes. It's like... Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. Like this, this like volume was fire. Like it's, a, <laughs> but he's doing it in the Ludwig voice. That if you know him, he's obviously you know he's fucking, fucking around, with you. Yeah. <laughs> but they all, they all don't think. They think he's trying to genuinely participate in the conversation. So the main guy starts asking Ludwig questions, and it just goes back and forth. And he gets. Yeah, I'm a, just every time they ping it back to me, I'm like, dude, yeah, great fucking great volume, dude, Nami fucking hot this app. <laughs> That's what I've been fucking saying, Ludwig lad. Yeah, and I'd be like, but <laughs> hey, can we talk about for fellas for a second, Robin? <laughs> oh, Robin. Yeah. They're trying to talk about like the content of the chapter, and he's like, can we talk about Robin's titties though? <laughs> like, <laughs> it did melt fast. A thousand people joining. I didn't realize that would happen because that just it melted. The group cannot sustain. And then, and then, and then he asks him like a really long-winded and like eloquent question about how Ludwig feels about the spoilers that are circulating because apparently a lot of people are getting spoiled around this section of One Piece and it's ruining it for some people and Ludwig's just like you know I've ne I've always said this about spoilers man it's way more about the journey than the <laughs> material it doesn't really ruin the experience like he's basically biting you're, my whole you're just fu you're just fucking <laughs> being like a you're what is this he's just being you're just being like a mannequin that can speak yeah. Just for the sport. That yeah. is so awesome. Yeah. I think I was drunk <laughs> and bored. And, and, and eventually he's getting half, he's like halfway through this like spoilers explanation and you finally broke. You finally broke and you started laughing and you just left the call. I couldn't. Because you couldn't, you couldn't go back and forth with him anymore. I couldn't so laugh weird. and then they would know. Yeah. So I had to leave. I, I, I want to take a trip with Ludwig. Yeah, he does sound all I want. super fun. I just want access to your your heart. Are oh, you talking about main Ludwig? <laughs> don't know yeah. if I can bring him out again. You don't think so? Just like he's a caged beast. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> can only come out for so long. Yeah, but you just go travel again. Go on, <laughs> you, know, you know what I did <laughs> when I was cage. there? We were playing games all weekend. We were gambling. I showed him liars dice last year, so we played liars dice a bit, and uh, we did a bit of poker, washed them, and uh, <laughs> and last day. We were thinking of a game to play. They love gambling. I was like, well, what if we do blackjack and I'm the house? No. So we booted, no. Up. We booted up blackjack and I'm the house. Immediately, they start talking about how they're going to count. So I have a rule at the Ludwig Casino. I said, okay, you have to take a shot before you sit down at the table. Okay. <laughs> Just to loosen the senses a bit. Everyone sure. sits down. Because we only got one deck. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, it's it like varying good. stacks. It's like mostly like 50 to 100, you know, nothing crazy. Because I wanted to keep it small. I was like, I'm not trying to rob anyone here. $50 max bet. And we start going, and pfft, I'm hitting. Yeah. I'm flipping over like 14. I get like like two and then five, and I'm just getting like 21. Uh, and I'm just busting these guys. I take them for all they're worth. It's really bad. Yeah, you did this on New Year's two years ago I, as well. I know. Me. I felt bad. <laughs> and so, That's insane. And so I'm probably up on these guys like, like $600. And it, doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't feel good. Well, these, you know... Cause, cause, cause I'm, cause I'm making pretty good money. I didn't need this six hundred. Yeah. Why did you do it? Then? Cause, well, so then this is what I do. I, I hand them all like a twenty five chip. I'm like, hey, rake back, rake back. You take a shot. I give. <laughs> hey, you you're loyal, bro. You're loyal. <laughs> Supernova elite. And uh, and one friend in specific, my friend Reed, who, who actually is he's pretty well off. He's like a good job. He makes six figures. Uh, he keeps wanting more because he's down bad. He's bought in for like a hundred a few okay. times. He's down like three hundred bucks to me. He's like. He keeps trying to up my minimum bet. So I said 50. I don't want to go high. He's like, can I do 300? Yes, sir. And I'm like, yeah, it's fine, bro. So it is 300. He wins. He's at 600. And he's like, can I do 600? Love that. Final hand. I'm like, okay, last one. Last one. He's like, okay, okay. He does 600. I'm flipping around. He gets a two. Ding, 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 ding. Flip it around. He gets a nine. 
Oh, he doubles? He doubles down for 1200 I allow it to pass. At the Ludwig Casino. Mm -hmm. At the Ludwig, Ludwig Casino. Casino. I know what I have because I have a 10. I have a queen facing. And then I look underneath and it's like a six. And I'm like, I'm, I'm sitting there Ooh. like, I'm like, you got a 16. <laughs> I got a 16. Oh, you got a bust. He's got a double on 11. I give him face down. I go to me. I fucking bust out. I go down probably $800 oh, total because so I have to pay him the big racks. There's a good ending here. It, well, it, that's the thing I was thinking of. I was like, there is no good ending where I win. No, it that's why you shouldn't have It is only good if I it. lose. Yeah, that's how I felt after it. But you didn't think about that before when you did this to me one-on-one. -on -one. Forgot about he that. He had less money back then, though. I had less money back then. I needed your money. You still, it was in this house. No, I needed your money. <laughs> that money was important. I know how much. It was here? I know how much money that was. Yes, it was. It was, it was here. You bought a house. You're fine. <laughs> well, the house, the mortgage. You always say that. Interest That's why rates your credit's shit. We're high. <laughs> exactly. Dude, Ludwig's credit shit. be like, I have a house. I'm fine. And it's like, <laughs> My credit is bad. <laughs> sure. It's maybe. like 670. Yeah. What happened? Because it's just like there's like it a be higher. the way credit works is there's like a, a day of the month where they where you have to pay and then a day of the month where they see how much money you have in your credit and they're different days, right? It's like a week before you're supposed to pay. They check how much is in your balance and if it's high and you're using like 50 plus percent of your credit, they dock you. And I'm always like 80 percent. I'm capped you want, out. You want 30 percent utilization. I'm at like 80, year. 90 because my credit limit is $1,000. You want to sit around 30, Ludwig. It's I know. for you. But my credit limit's 1000 so I fill it up quick. But you have a house, so you're fine. That's what I'm saying. And that's what you say. Amen. But, and now you are the house. Well, I'm glad I'm glad you lost the money for I'm once. I'm interested to see when you go get a car. I guess you could pay for a car in cash. But if you go finance a car, what your rates are going to be. I did it. Well, I well, guess I paid cash. <laughs> did you, did you <laughs> speak to did them like buy? that? I, <laughs> can did I get you? the car? Can I have a car? <laughs> um, please. Can I have guard? No, I'm good, man. I got a Vespa. I don't need a car. Yeah. Are you actually not going to get a car? I'm Vespa pilled. I don't need a car. Okay, you can't. Okay, you, hold he on. has a car. The other car. day, I was like, hey, you want to go climbing? Like, he was like, oh, what if we took my Vespa? I'm like, that's crazy. He's like, yeah, you actually couldn't do it. I'm like, okay, so there's a place you can't go that you want. Yeah, I mean, it could. Well, I just he, won't. Yeah. He's a car. You have a car. Don't say you're, you're, not, you're Vespa pilled when you just have both. You do have yeah. both. You're a fucking capper. It's a great car. <laughs> from, 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 End to end, you're just a dude, cap city. NordVPN.com forward slash the yard. NordVPN.com forward slash the yard. Look. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get on. That's part. our sponsor. Hey, the sponsor said we had to say it twice, so get that fucking out of the way. We're get right, it out of the right way through quick. that. Yeah, okay. That was easy. Oh, th this is how we're doing Let's it. Let's talk about VPNs for we're, a moment. We're checking boxes. Here's the thing that's happened to us <laughs> in real life for real. Yes. Aiden was cringe, but not like the fake cringe. How cringe was he? He was so cringe that he downloaded an illegal copy of Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Yeah, he pirated a movie about pirates like a fucking weird freak. Yeah, and he, then it could have been something He really different. wanted to watch Pirates of the Caribbean. And our internet got taken down because Spectrum Internet was like, hey, that's illegal. And they take you down. You have to call to get it back up. My stream got taken down. You cost me maybe millions at no, this point. No, that, that was no, later no. on because you were pirating hey, Pokemon hey, ROMs. Hey, quiet well, down. Uh, you, 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 Pokemon you, you got our internet taken hey, down. You know what? Two wrongs doesn't make a right. Yeah. Just stop what you're doing yeah. right you're, now. So, so we're going to focus on you being the only wrong. Anyway, <laughs> hey, NordVPN, it's a great way to get around any any problems you might have. Region-locked content, perhaps just a little bit of privacy. You if, wouldn't have cost Ludwig literally millions of dollars. Millions. If you want a secure internet connection and hide your personal information from your internet service provider, <laughs> VPNs are great for you. Also, yeah, the region, the region lock that you can watch... Rick and Morty hey, on there. Hey, you're when still you going up. You're still going up. Oh, uh, yeah, so uh, thanks to Nord Cost and uh, back to the regular you. scheduled memeing. I actually hate you. I literally you hate pirate. you. You blamed us for months. You blamed us for months and you were pirating Pokemon ROMs the entire Nord time. NordVPN.com slash one Pokemon ROM. Me and Ludwig, I, I think I already said this, but me and Ludwig took a ride in the Vespa. It's the closest I've ever felt to him. Squeezing his thighs with my thighs. A fan spotted him and I could tell she was so confused at why... Ludwig was here on a Vespa because <laughs> well she must not be a big fan then because she sees Ludwig and she's like stun locked for like five minutes because she's trying to figure out like one is this Ludwig two why is he here of all places and three why is he on a Vespa I'm also dressed goofy and he right? and, and he's dressed all weird like 
uh, and and Ludwig just like cuts off her confusion. Would you like a photo? And she's just like, yes. Like, Wait, I, what's the context? I'm not gonna try to explain. Were you parked somewhere? We were just pulling up, getting some coffee. Oh, okay, okay. We were just in like a very random place to be. Yeah. Uh, and it was just funny. He just like cut her off, and she was like, I would love to stop thinking about this and try to figure it out. <laughs> I would love a photo. I love when I meet a fan that is with a friend, and the friend could not care less about me. <laughs> and they're and they're like like why? Because that happened there. It was like there was she was with a friend, and the friend was like, I don't. Why do you care? She's like, no, I used to have a crush on like this guy who would like talk like this and he like doesn't have a face and then he's like he played a mogus like, take the fucking picture it's, like, it's a corn husband <laughs> and like corn husband. the i thought the the last thing this weekend that you did that you did of note that was funny to me was uh the one night we wanted to watch a movie and everybody wanted to watch shrek 2 for some reason Dude. and ludwig is so set on watching spirited away because nobody there Besides us, has seen Nobody's Spirited seen Away. Nobody's which is seen pretty it. crazy. That's actually. a rare thing. It was seven people who have never seen Spirited yeah. Away. Track two, track two. And <laughs> that's what was going on. Over the, <laughs> course, pussy. over the course of like several hours, Ludwig is is like selling them on watching Spirited Away. He was doing anything he can to convince them why it's like one of the greatest animated movies ever made, and like why they need to watch it. Tonight I was lying, and why Shrek Two is dumb. <laughs> yeah, and he lied. He's like. It won the Academy Award for Best Picture. I love that. Because they'll never check. Just saying true. shit. Because what are they going to do? Pull out their phones? <laughs> not no. true. They're not going to heat check him. <laughs> and and <laughs> at the end of the at the end of the night, they finally um they finally boot up Shrek Two in the basement. And Ludwig <laughs> Ludwig in his final act of defiance is like, I'm going to watch Spirited Away upstairs. Like come wow. come with me. Like. For those who will watch, you started your own sovereign nation. And he nation. went upstairs to watch the movie on his own, and one person, Christian, went upstairs to go watch it with him. To road dog, wow. To road dog, if I ever seen oh. it. And Christian comes out the other side, and he's like, "Yeah, it's pretty good." <laughs> like, hey, but, amen. But I don't think the Shrek Two crowd was. Why wouldn't sad you just either? watch Shrek with your friends? Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, I'm down to rewatch Shrek Two, and he, and he's so convinced. It's like if I pull this on my Instagram, if I pull this on my Instagram, I bet you oh, Spirited Away cloud, huh? wins. And he puts the pole on, and he comes back to me the next day. He's like, yeah, Shrek 2. Shrek 2 dominated. Yeah, it's so funny. Shrek 2 wins every matchup because okay, it's it was a funny option. 52 to 48%. Easy. Dominated. You dominated. know what they call that in uh, politics? A landslide. <laughs> <laughs> so think about that, pussy. All right, man. Fucking Spirit Away is fire, dude. Spirit Away is good. Donkey. It is not funny. I will say that. Donkey. And Shrek 2 is funny. Yeah, because he's, he's, you know. <laughs> he's an ogre. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. He wears pants. Damn, Shrek! Why did Shrek just? Why did everyone start making Shrek jokes? What happened? I think it's just ironically, it, it was like already kind of weird, and then it's like I think it was so weird that we got ten years past it, and then we that was enough time to look back and be like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, and it was just that odd. It's a weird movie. Also, about also Smash Mouth being involved in it. That that's, is. Huge. That's also yeah. another weird mm-hmm. element where we look back on that and we're like, Do you hey, think he was so he was so fat? So there was like that enormous surge of Smash Mouth memes, like Smash Mouth, but the whole thing is one tone. Mm-hmm. And it, every time they say this, it speeds up and whatever. Uh, do you think that would have happened without Shrek? No. I no. think what came first? No. no. Mm. Shrek. Shrek was crucial. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. And also the Beatles, because they covered the song. What did they cover? Smash Mouth covered "I'm a oh, Believer." Oh, I think I think the oh, Beatles right. covered the Beatles. Smash Mouth. That'd be insane. That would go hard. They cover All Star, yeah, in their nasally <laughs> fucking disgusting British voices. Okay, they're not that bad. The Beatles? No. Yeah, they fucking suck. No, they're fine. They're, they're fine. They're fine. Yeah, yesterday they're fine. They're fine but people like them way too song. much. Yeah, sure. It's weird. But they're they're a good band. They're a good bunch of blokes. They drink a little hot cum, drop a little hot tune. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> oh, yeah, they they Paul, Paul McCartney died in a car crash uh, many many years ago. It's a double. He's alive mm-hmm. right now. Amen. <laughs> so. You touch him, he just feels like Jackie Chan downstairs. <laughs> yeah. it's, not, it's not real. Also, what happened when I was in fucking um, weekend mode is I got into a beef with yeah, Doctor Disrespect. Bro, what the fuck is going on? You see that? What's happening? Yeah, I was. And scared. you know what? And you know what? You were you were ratioing his ass, bro. You did ratio doc a doctor. You know what's funny? That is how Twitter <laughs> functions. That is all that matters. Yeah. It's not the discourse. It's like, well, what's the likes looking like? The whole like? time while this is happening, by the way, he's doing it on a fucking plane. So, like, every time he cues up the tweet, he, like, leans over to me before he sent it. He's like, you're up in the Kyle High Club. Look at this. Look at this. this. Wait, were you drafting with Eamon? No, I was just showing him. He would just write it up and then, like, show me. Okay. And then enter. Right, right. And then then click send. I had snappy replies. I was quick. That's half the battle. Do you think that, 
I was I was thinking a lot about it. Do you think Doc is just like in character, but then like can't back down from his character, so he doubles down, or do you think he's like salty they wasn't invited like what what is this what's happening yeah i well let's quick recap it i guess if we can pull it up just for the uninitiated because it was like a deep reply thread started by connor eats pants the villain of the yeah, story connor really fucked with the bread and the bag because he uh like doctor's respect tweeted like nothing good happening in on on twitter and then connor replied like why didn't you come to the esports awards and then streamer or awards. the streamer awards and then doc <laughs> replied was he invited i probably not well, he probably not because he's banned on twitch Right, so that well, no, just more so. Judy probably just couldn't reach out because he just probably has closed DMs. Maybe he doesn't follow her. Maybe like that. That's we don't. So. We I'm don't know. He couldn't be there because you can't have him be on. That stream. is also true. I didn't oh, think about that's that. A big, yeah, yeah. Uh, and and then he replied to Connor, and he was like, he was like, that kitty event where it's just all giving your friends trophies. And then I hit yeah, him with here, the Zipper classic. It up. I had my two bomb. Okay, so Dr. Strict is, imagine creating a fake award show to give your best friends credit for something they're not even close to competing in. Uh, okay. And then that's when I hit him with, uh, hey, I'll ask Cutie to add NFTs in the gift bag. Maybe that'll help you show up. Ratio. Which is, well, that's just an easy one because he's making a game. There's uh, NFTs It's also funny to say they're not close to competing in because it's like, they're, like, for a lot of these categories, like, who else are you going to invite to the event? They're pretty. I would say they're close. I think. I think. <laughs> yeah, I, think I think they're fine. It's, just, you know it's 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 kind of just like cheap shot after cheap shot, right? Yeah. Like is Doctor Disrespect's game like a full NFT like scam pyramid? No. Uh -huh. Right. It just has it yeah. has it in it. Yeah. It's so all cheap shots. So there's all these like these cheap little dangling little nut sacks that you guys are just like flicking. Yeah. You know. And then he replied. Right. To That's that. what I pictured too. Yeah. He replied to that. It was it was just some like it was like vague. It was like, hey, you the truth hurts. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so I just sent back the classic Force and CD, which yes. is, that's easy. I mean, that's all time. Uh, that way, there's, there's no day that doesn't work. Yeah, so this is, th Picture this is, is so fucking What funny. does this emote mean? Force and CD is like, uh, it's it's the cheating emote, really. It's it's cheating, and it's it's beyond cheating on your partner. It's more so cheating in game now. I see. I feel like. Uh-huh. Sweet little bear. Right. Oh, okay. I feel like that was a low blow. Really? I do. Oh, it's easy. It's just a little face. Yeah, but it's like <laughs> implying it's like, hey, remember when you cheat on your wife? Well, yeah, you just said, yeah, just a little. E I hey, but he, he, and I might be crazy. Hey, but he, he's coming at his wife. So he. That's so, what I'm saying. So he was he was Bill Smith, and he went up and he said, <laughs> and he said, hey, bro, that's true. <laughs> What's up, dog? Hey, here he slapped him with an emote, and Dude, with he reality, would, he would rip your head off. Yeah, he's, he's actually he's so six, fucking eight, and tall. But he's old. Maybe I have that. That's true. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's I have a like lower heart rate. Man. I have an athlete's heart rate. You have an athlete's heart rate and an athlete's heart. Right. And uh, <laughs> and he and then he replied some shit, but it was like you, you'll never. You'll yeah, be he said I get years. like I give you two years tops, like staying relevant or something. Yeah. Damn, bro, fuck you. That's a great two I'm years. Yeah, that's my contract. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because everyone's like they don't know that he said five three years ago. Yeah. <laughs> It, so, but my question, I asked you in the car when I you're, think we were on the way, yeah. and I was like, it, is it, because you were like, oh, I think we're just all in good fun, and I'm like, what? You guys were like, good fun. you guys were chopping each other up. Yeah, but it's like Twitter chopping up, like, I nah, don't care. if they saw each other in person, they'd be fine. I, 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 I believe that. I, I am very un- uh, Here's what he said, you called everyone you could to try to win some sort of Stream of the Year award, and you did. Holy shit. I give you two more years of relevance. That's it. And he's punctuation, boomer. Yeah, I, I, in my mind, I don't care about it. I just thought they were funny little drama tweets, and I think he also is like that because he replied to like Maya, and he was like, "I've never lost in tetherball ever." Because she replied to the thread about like see me on the. Uh, yeah, I on saw the this sister. and I'm like, "Uh oh, dad." I sort of, I sort of thought saw it as like that's an opportunity for the doc character to fuck around in a little thing. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah, is, is it always in character? Isn't that the idea? I'm sure there's part of his ego that like maybe sees the reply and like, actually wants to win. Yeah, or whatever. But yeah. But, but if he fucking replies with his guy beam account and he's like that conversation really frustrated me, you should not be. Then I'd be like, okay, wow, he's upset. But if he's with Doctor Disrespect, being like the two time doesn't like when you talk shit. <laughs> <on him." laughs> listen, Rack. Listen up, Rack. This is the Champions Club, and you are not invited. I love how Carl just steps in with a message that has nothing to do with it and ratios both of you. He did ratio for the, the whole sport group. of it. He ratioed the whole group just to fucking just to show up. He did blow it up. 
And that's when I was like, man, fucking my. He's like, what's up, family? You ever seen nine inches? And boom, right <laughs> on the table. Yeah. Me and Doc are throwing our, our four peckers around, our four inch peckers. <laughs> yeah. He comes out with the big LBJ He's like, hog. Ah, lads. Well, I'll be I'll be leaving now. Yeah. And he rides on a giant bite with a big wheel. <laughs> oh my god, bro. He's gotta like fucking package it up, throw it over the arm, lug his big old cock around. Minecrafters have it so easy, dude. I was what? yeah, I was scared. I was scared. I thought that dad was in trouble and that things were going wrong. No, it was great. You, you hey. dropped a quote retweet. You dropped a quote retweet where we I just fu- post pictures of me on the toilet now I in fu- I large was, public you, forums. Do you know I've been waiting like a week to drop that for the perfect moment. And I still don't think that was it, but yeah. I kept just looking in my phone. I'm like, I can't resist. This is candy and I need it now. Yeah, I can't th- my only problem with that photo is people in the replies criticizing the way I sit and poop. <laughs> It's like, dude, it is not come cool. On. They're I didn't grilling. Even, I didn't even post Aiden, it. Aiden's got like, his, his his knees touching, but his, yeah, his I'm feet like out. This. And, and he's on his phone like. <laughs> no, no, it's the opposite. I think your feet are close together. I'm, no, I'm, no, because no, then dick would be out. Oh, is, it was knees tight. Yeah, like Logos getting in there, and he's like, "Yeah, why doesn't he pull his pants all the way down?" Yeah, like, the, why ask don't him you why. Fucking yeah. win a tournament. Yeah, how about you? How about, <laughs> how about you ledge dash when it counts? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How about that? Do poop weird. I'm just Let's pooping. talk about it. Am I, <laughs> the only, am I the only squat a potier in the house? Yeah. Yeah. I've been thinking about it. They're They're swag. I might I might get one. They're swag. But but here's, here's But you the can't thing. use the bidet when you're using one. You what? have to so, all right, so when you're oh man, this is part of my life. When you are using the squatty potty, right? So your feet are up like this when you when you're squatting and pottying. So your butthole is at an angle. And so when you use the bidet, it doesn't hit your butthole. It hits like the back of your butt. I'm sorry, I'm doing math. Wait, um, you're you're do you're miming a position that looks like you're going to the gyno. Like that's yeah, kind of like, like you're in stirrups. No, so like this is like your regular poop position, right? Yeah. This, I'm here. I'm pooping. Well, no, I'm. And like, this is squatty potty. Yeah. So your what the fuck is your shit just shooting so out not, and hitting the side of the you're bowl? Not out, you're no. Just up. Why is your shit not shooting? Because out? the poop the poop is helped by gravity to continue. Oh, moving you got down. low velocity. It like poops. falls out. Like like something in your mouth that you just don't and, like. and it makes the Taco Bell sound when it hits the water. You got low velocity poops. Velocity? Yeah, they I come mean, out slow. Yeah, but they're like high impact. Yeah, but low velocity. I have like a Bowser poop. Yeah, <laughs> it like Mario Kart Bowser. Mine's like, like Falcon because it comes out with spikes on it. Mine comes out. <laughs> uh, anyway, I have, the, I have the Funky Kong of poop. So I gotta I gotta push the squat a potty away and then hit the hit the command center. Damn. Uh, just a little bit of info you, for your you, life. You're you, by the way. I took that picture because I walked by and his door is wide open and he has an open concept bathroom. Yeah. That's why I took it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I do that I, I do feel that like all the time now in hopes of like getting Ludwig back. But you were the first person to see it. Here's the thing, you wouldn't get me back, I'm down. Yeah, he's down. You're not getting Just him. Just text me when you do it and I'll come by. Yeah, and no, he'll that would and then he'll get <laughs> and then he'll he'll get like in between your legs with yeah. his head. The power and- play <laughs> the power play is sitting on your lap. Yeah, coming in and just sitting Pooping down through my legs. Like I'm <laughs> okay, stacked. hold on. Well, we can get it done here. We can. I'll just like. How many do you I'll think tuck you my could balls stack? Back. <laughs> how many men? How many men could you stack sitting on a toilet where all their and poop still gets take in it, the yeah. toilet? So that the yeah. poop falls so, so we are like, one shot. Like, it's like when <laughs> you're one touch anything. It's shot. like when you're lining when, when you're trying to realign three hole punch paper and you can't like quite <laughs> yeah. get the uh-huh. the binder back in it. You're in the hotel like stairs when you go all the way to the top. And you drop an ice cube all the way down. No, it's kind of like the coin game at Taco Bell. When you drop the coin into the water and you got to land it on one of the platforms. Right. Remember That's an that? old one. That's an old I don't free me- meal. You're making me think of the Ronald McDonald charity swirl. It's kind of like that. <laughs> it's kind of like that. I just thought that was hype. Dude, has anyone ever peed into one of those? <laughs> that's like, that's a fucking... <laughs> See, I don't know what that is, and I'm just like, that sounds like an Urban Dictionary sex position. <laughs> the Ronald McDonald charity swirl. <laughs> 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 That's just the thing that's at malls, right? You put a quarter in and it spins for an hour. It spins. Yeah. Well, it spins into a big funnel yeah, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. watch it spin. You're like, nice. Yeah, you're like, whoa. Okay, yeah. that's what I was talking that, yeah, about. Yeah, that's not, yeah, okay. The fucked up right. part is they used to fill them with water and it was more fun. Yeah, because it's like it bounces. Yeah, I, I remember. And you have now. more of like time, but now it's just like, damn, it's hard. Yeah, <laughs> it is hard. It just bounces off. We would grind those. Yeah. <laughs> Help a local teen graduate. I'm good. Yeah, I don't care about all that. I just want to play fun coin games. Yeah. I just rather they not be in my Valorant games. Those young teens. Those t- young teens. Yeah, let's talk about. I was gonna say I, I want to be the Jason R of Spe- Valorant. Yeah. Speaking of Valorant. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wow. Hey, leave Wait. it at that. Yo, rolling up to the club like Jason R, leaving if women are there. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, the the idea was uh, that I just it like I'm Jason R, 
But if you have a voice that just like is fucking, you're you just haven't hit puberty. You're I a don't, squeaker. I don't want you in my fucking game. You're dodging squeakers. Get the fuck out of here. You're, Same thing in my check. Get the fuck out. You're ages. It's not for you. Yeah, I want to play with fucking adults that can like I don't know take space, right? Or at least like just care about like. Look, one time <laughs> I was I was playing a Valorant game. This is a long time ago, and I said, "Please push B, or I'm gonna kill myself in real life." I say this on the mic. Instantly, this like fourteen year old kid just like do it, 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 do it. Dude, you got died. And I'm like, Damn. yeah, Damn. I deserve that one. Wow. And he was also he would also oh. on the mic he'd just be like do 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 do. I'm like, he's a juicer too. Like, what yeah. the fuck am I supposed to do? Damn, I can't reason with Getting this. Getting lit up by the juicers. Also, I was playing a game. This was on stream. It was fucked up. I was like, this guy's being such a cunt. Just such a real real dickhead. Right. He's being really mean. He's like, hey, f- cipher, buy me, buy me, just buy me, dude, buy me. Like, buy me now. I'm like, no. Say you're sorry for being mean. And he's like, okay, dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, oh, that's my phone. I mean it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I'm like, okay. And I bought him. He's like, dude, I wasn't sorry. You fucking dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, this is the... Dude, I have never been owned this hard children, in my... children, I know. I didn't have a brother growing up. Wow. It shows. I got fucking destroyed. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So, anyway, Jason R. Dude, right Ludwig. idea, bad execution. Ludwig, you called it. Yeah, dude. You called Jason R. I did call it. We said on the pod. I think it was the primo because we didn't get to talk about Zipper, it. Zipper, Zipper, can you bring the clip up? Well, okay. He put it in his mogul mail. So as we speak, the mogul mail has already dropped, and you are now the keem star of the the, the internet world. Here, we got this. We got this clip. We got this clip. My <laughs> QAnon theory is that he cheated on her. Yes. Which has made her wildly mm. insecure. Oh. It was likely with someone yeah. he maybe oh. gamed with. Maybe oh. Oh. I thought the same thing. I didn't realize you did that. I saw the video. That was great. If he yeah, saw like this that. in the dating phase, he would not have continued to marriage. Yeah. yeah. So this is like, this is, I don't know if you guys are at got him toxic partner, but this is how it goes sometimes. You just got to like. Yeah, maybe once. <laughs> well, what? no, what I'm saying is like, yeah, sometimes you're just caught in a fucking in a vortex i'm not saying he's a good guy or whatever but like when when that when he like explained it which was like last night in uh-huh. a baby little paragraph i was like oh okay now i get it you're still weird it's all still so weird and you're like cringe and weird but it's like okay still bad this makes still sense. weird but what if he just said that at the beginning right yeah. Well, I mean, fuck? now, now, but because now it, he's like, okay, so I cheated on my wife, and now we didn't say I, that. By the way, you're putting words in his mouth. I don't think yeah. that's fair. Either. If I allegedly, no, he didn't say anything. He just said I did some bad things, right? So it's I like, wasn't fair to her. I don't think that's... I did yeah. bad things to my wife. That sounds worse. That's <laughs> no, say what he said. I'm gonna look up. What that's he said. what he said. I'm gonna look up what he said because it's not really fair to like literally say. I think he said like early in our relationship, I wasn't. Like, I did really her. bad yeah. things to my wife. Really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I took my wife to the lab where everyone. <laughs> Where's wearing yeah. lab coats and their dogs and they're wearing glasses. <laughs> it was like 15 dogs and they're raw wilders. They're wearing coats. When I was younger, I was not a good person to her. That's all he said. <laughs> name, I think it's person. fair name to like one dog Jason's cued with, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all dogs in my chat, you're fucking banned. Uh, the dude. problem is he still dropped the you in the the dude. insane Tarek stream dude. that you you're acting like you a know, girl. I felt really bad for Tarek for two reasons. And that whole interaction was because one. I feel like he couldn't find the words to to accurately explain how he felt, which I feel is like a correct way to feel, which is basically like, I think it's reasonable that people think this about you based on what you've done, right? That Those words never came out of his mouth, really. And it was like, it was hard for both of them to find the actual clear words. And then also, he just like, he, I feel like he just wants the game and he's like trying to be really cool about it. And he, he felt really guilty about it. It just felt like Jason shit. Well, no, no, no I think Tarek was oh, just yeah. worried that people, because like he got really heated. Yeah, and when, he's like getting shit on, and it's like, fuck, dude, it's it just sucks. I just like, think the idea of being a cloud chaser made him feel bad. And the idea that if once you make it, like your everything you do is now for the fucking the numbers, yeah. and it's like that's so toxic because like mm-hmm. some people are like that, but you know who's not instantly. Mm-hmm. You know if you know them personally. So I don't know. It's I uh, the my favorite part of this whole thing is uh. They're they're in a party talking, and Zelsis, another pro player, is in the party the whole time. He's just vibing and also streaming. And it's in the they're like thirty minutes into the argument, and Zelsis on his stream is just like, bro, I'm so stressed. I need some fucking top. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and it's the funniest. His delivery, the clip is so fucking. Funny. He's like standing pacing. Yeah. He's like, I need some top right now. <laughs> it's like the That's most so stream funny. viewers he's ever gotten because he's just the guy in who happens to be in the call with them at the same just time. Just watching your your friend fight with their parents. <laughs> God, did you see? Did you see the clip from Jason R where he's like, fuck, he's 
fucking snakes, dude. I fucking yes. I fucking remember all your fucking like really mad. I'm, bro, I'm like, dude, turn the camera to your drywall right next to you. I want to see it so <laughs> bad. See. That shit looks like Swiss <laughs> I want, cheese. I want to see the happy face I of, did, dude, of the whole. You know what? I, one th- reason, besides like the actual reason he's facing like the controversy in the first place, one of the reasons I can't take Jason seriously is he has like a, a pretty distinct Canadian accent. So when he's <laughs> mad, everything the more mad he gets, oh, the more fuck, bud. <laughs> oh fuck. The more over I need a fucking molson right now. <laughs> what the f- where, I need a fucking molson in, in me. Canada is that? Yeah, I need yeah. a molson in me right we're, now. We're not getting there. Are you, are you this Irish? isn't happening. You fucking Irish. That's right. right now. That's a Canadian, right? <laughs> I Dude, mean, maybe like me Newfoundland. You, you know, we know Canada. We know Canada. Fucking Timmy Hortons right now. <laughs> but the way he says "fuck" when he gets mad is so fucking ah. Canadian. It makes me laugh every time. <laughs> yeah, it's uh it's quite. Let me ask you a question, Ludwig Onder. Hey, what's up? Are what's the purpose of? Are you are you that guy now? Hmm. Are you a here's the drama now? Do you feel okay doing that? I feel a little bit wet sometimes when you do it in a bad way. Oh, bad wet. How do you? How are you wet in a bad way? Uh, sh- shouty, <laughs> like you, like you, like you peed yourself because he, he likes it, but he doesn't want to. No, no, yeah, I guess that's a good way to put it. I feel it's it's like I have always thought the the drama machine of like let's talk about what's going on uh-huh. is is like pretty toxic and pretty like is like a net negative to the world. But I feel like Mogul Mail has turned into it. Why are you mainlining Sunny V two and then shaming my small bespoke little <laughs> industry that we have going on? Our small I bespoke journalism I don't, program. I don't mainline Sunny <laughs> V two. Mainline Sunny V two. I am a journalist. You watch a video that's like that's like. And, I ask you your and, opinion on it because you're a fucking streamer because you know these people. And Ninja is absolutely washed. You're a cocksucker. You you're probably, a cocksucker <laughs> because I will I will watch it and I'll be like, bro, what do you think of this? He should probably. And kill then you're himself. like, and then you're like, oh my god, you're watching. It's like, no, I'm just asking what you think. Like, I want to learn. Here's the thing: I'm a journalist and I'm just spreading the gospel of journalism. You don't feel guilty of what? I, I don't know. I think it's I think drama YouTubing is is what you're essentially doing, and I've always been like, well, that's whack. He picks his spots though. I think it's easy. To like the this video is easy to make and I think not very controversial because it's very clear to almost everyone involved that who fucked up like it's not and and he's not like this good guy who's being mischaracterized he's like no he he tried to argue that he wasn't sexist for an hour while also calling Tarek a girl like, I agree it, like yeah, I, there, I, there's not a, it's here's just, the thing this is typical slime you didn't watch it. What? No, I did. I watched the whole fucking thing. The most recent yeah, one. You included the nature clip. You fucking you included clips. You talked about all this. You Wait. brought up. You brought up like a twit longer. I saw it all. The I Nade, watched it. The nade clip you included is that the one where he's like telling Tarek you shouldn't feel bad about yeah. this. Yeah, I agree with that. Because yeah. if Jason, it, Jason came at him and is like, let's have this argument in front of fucking you know forty thousand, fifty thousand people. Let's fucking sort this out. And instead of like taking it offline, and I think when all you have to do is click stop streaming. Like now, other people get to be involved in that. Yeah, it's it is it is weird to see the the Coliseum and the and the people in their filthy tunics. I think the throwing dr- rocks. The and- drama that's shitty is when you scrape up really like innocuous shit like Dick Cerdo and like make an article out of it. I think that's really fucking lame. Yeah, I th- for me it's usually like uh, I I hate tweeting about shit, you know, and like really why? I because tweeting always feels like it's for likes what words are specifically. Hard. And and it's and it's like you know like I'm making the stand here, and I don't feel I don't feel like I can do that in authentic ways, but I can just sit in front of a camera for like eight to ten minutes. Really, and I see. I, I think it's the opposite. I I feel the opposite, where it's like the video is more of a a good boy point machine than Twitter. But maybe we're just we have different. Oh, no, it's for sure because because the video you can fit so many more thoughts into and so much more context. Whereas Twitter, you can only say your stance. Yeah, I think I think I think a good point there is like when you make a long YouTube video, there's so many places to point out criticism with your line of thinking. Whereas on Twitter, you can sort of say you can defend anything because you've only said a small sentence and like. Here's here's why you've made I'm, no strong statements. Here's why I'm different is because I excel in poetry and that's all that Twitter is. What? No, it's economy of language. <laughs> when, when no, I, you I wrote I, poems. What I'm saying in college. Have you written a poem yeah, since college? I, I was correct. No, kind of. Been thirteen years, but it hasn't been thirteen years. <laughs> 15, well, what I'm whatever. saying is, economy <laughs> of went language. To college when it was like the, right. like the first college was, so it was made, before right? Before the Berlin Wall fell. Yeah, right. Okay. So yeah. I've been I've been watching videos about USSR. It's just great. Yeah. 
No, look, it, the Twitter is economy of language, and I think that's beautiful. So I, I, I feel like I excel and understand that environment so much more when I'm like delivering a take like a, out of my uterus. But you, you had a problem with the, with the. <laughs> So I'm not gay. So, and, and but here's Linus and Luke from Linus Tech Tips can double team me on the roof of a barring TBH. And so that's so a this slime is, tweet. This is what I'm talking about. So Zipper brought up a tweet of mine uh -huh. that I feel like is on is 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 online with you know what I believe to be perfect writing. Aiden in the airplane, by the way, with his airplane Wi-Fi, looking up Michael Hastings on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Dude, yeah. I found out Hassan like knew Michael Hastings. They like, got drinks yeah. together. That is crazy. I felt so bad when I, he told me that. I was reading about Michael Hastings and I was like, damn, that is a good Twitter name. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You well, you had a problem with like the Jake Sucky tweet, didn't you? Dude, that guy too, man. He Where he, where does this line? He the, did that thing where he was like because the, the Jason R shit broke, right? It like first started like getting hot. And he, the guy literally made a tweet that was like, huh, I don't know what to think about this. I got no opinions on this one. And it's like, you don't need to say that. <laughs> it's implied. <laughs> and every, anyone who wants to believe what they want will just assume that you agree with them. Yeah. To say that, I don't have any opinions on this one, brother, is so weird. Sometimes it's necessary. It's so suboptimal. Like, I've been holding off on the, the Will Smith thing. The press has to stay neutral. <laughs> but I for don't know this one, it was, so, it, was so, <laughs> it was so whack because it's like, this is the one that you don't have an opinion. I'm not all you the way. You want to distinguish. Not all the way there in Russia, Ukraine yet. And then he fucking, he's part of some <laughs> Wait goddamn. Wait for the facts to come in. <laughs> dude, Man, Mans is part of some, like, like, fucking news outlet now. And he, like, tweeted about us, like, smelling Amaran's fart jars. And I was, I, I was this Did close. He? Yeah, and I was this close to just responding, like, like just some fucking shit that would have got me in a in a fight, and I was like, I'm not going to do this. Here's the thing: you can't fight him. I'm not. No, not what like did a real fight. What did he say about the Seen fart jars? That's he. He was just like the the guys of the yard smell Amaranth's fart jars. It was just like a fucking like update a scoop. It's a scoop. It's like whatever, but it was just run by this guy who is to me, I feel like part of the engine that is drama YouTube, like only like literally the like collector. Because that's the career is the like collector. Where is the mm -hmm. ambition? At least you want to do creative things, right? At least you want to like build something beautiful one day. I feel like others in this space just don't, and that bothers me. And yeah, that's kind of how I'm Here's, processing. Dude, things. You just one take, Jake, a quick little ten minute something something that you're interested in because you like little drama popcorn, and that's all it is. I'm down to be the keem star of YouTube. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, don't. just like I'm the white shroud of Twitch. Uh -huh. Don't own that. <laughs> I am the I am the keem star of YouTube. I don't know, man. Either either way, it's <laughs> he, like he's been on YouTube for a while. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, I I'll will say his like, his first couple accounts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that was on a lie detector. The Bruce uh, drop him off joined OTK, and uh, and they did a lie detector stream. And one of the questions Bruce act, uh, asked, he's he's black, is uh, to Mizkiff with the lie detector on. He says, "When's the last time you said the N word?" insane hot seat love that hot seat wait oh hot seat yeah yeah that's a tough one well what was it was the result i'm on the edge of my seat I, I don't think it got there because it was they did it wrong they were like say the name and the date oh yeah which is just fake it's not yes how lie no. detectors work yeah oh yeah. yeah that makes sense yeah this is hey this is where it, that'd be funny if it was miskiff's mom oh yeah it has to be like yes, arms crossed no. like tell him <laughs> <laughs> tell him matthew <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing slime some of the lie detectors are fake no. That these streamers have been doing. No. no. Really? I know. Yeah. Did you? Not in yours, though. No. I mean, ours is genuine. We had That's the guy. Good. We had That's the guy. Good. And that guy was not a crook a ever. No. Been Professional. Honest. honest. One of the best in the business, they say. They you. Huge pee, pee You wanted me to move out for Atrioc. Would you still take that trade? Aiden for Atrioc? Yeah. Every day. <laughs> I don't think you would. Are you kidding me? I don't think you would. After, I dropped him today for after, Hassan. Th after this romantic <laughs> weekend. Dropped you today for fucking Hassan. Couldn't feel better about it. I was so bummed. You guys have no idea. I just wish I knew earlier. I wish I knew that he didn't want to play because then I could have prepared myself. But I thought the idea of the four yard boys dropping tilted was, I think, that was I knew he idea. didn't want to play because he kept trying to get his little brother to play. And I was like, well, he always doesn't want to play. He kept pawning off Eamon. So I ran a Fortnite event, Fortnite Mondays, Keemstar of YouTube. And uh, <laughs> truly, and no I, beard though. You he can't, did you used to run Fortnite thing. tournaments, didn't yeah, he? He did was, weekly that, Fortnite tournaments. Hype. And uh, and I invited all influencers, all not Fortnite pros. I, I made it nice and soft for us. Well, and uh, and I and I was going to get the yard boys, and we we're going to drop tilted, and we were going to frag out. And we, after five games, got four kills total, and finished second to last behind or in front of stands. You know what I said though. You know what I said the night before uh -huh. we were playing, and uh, someone said, I, said I, "I think stands plays for it. I think stands all right." And I said, "I will never 
get my head removed by Stan <laughs> in any video game for ever. I mean, and you know what? Like, I, we fucking beat their too, team, baby. and that's we all. That's all I needed team. to fucking do. Amen. Eat shit, stance. Eat shit, <laughs> eat dude. Shit. We had a son on our team, and it. I thought. I thought that it was gonna be like. Like a faulty AI in like an N sixty four game where Great there's like comms. this big this big ogre that's like your friend and you have to like click A to tell him to go places like Urgh! but he doesn't sometimes. <laughs> I thought that's how it would be, dude. But he, he actually has great like the comms. bot in CSGO yeah. when yeah. he just doesn't listen to yeah. sometimes. Yeah, you have to just keep sitting X four or <laughs> Z four. But actually, I was like, okay, guys, I don't want to hear right here. I want to hear coordinates and I want pings. He was so on it. Yeah, he was, I was on so. It. Proud. He couldn't shoot his gun very well. So but he bad, great at comms. shooting the gun. Yeah, but which he, is more important. I wish he was better at shooting the gun and didn't come. I'm the opposite. Can't I have wish, it all. You I think can't. information's really important. I wish he was a one trick Raina carry that was smurfing. I, I, because, because that's Nick's job. Yeah, that is fair. But that's Nick what, didn't do yeah. it. No, I got the most kills. No. Yeah. Tied. We tied. Yeah. I got the most kills. Fair enough. Two two. Oh uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, really, really counting up chips yeah, here, boys. Yeah, huh? yeah, we were nuts. <laughs> And and I, mine were more like impact, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually true. Uh, but hey, didn't hey. drop a zero bomb? Hey, me and you, buddy. Oh, slime. I tried really Dropped hard. Dropped a little bit of a zero. I, I was mad that we lost. I felt bad. Uh, I was like, man, I like the vi video, winning Dude, at video games. I will say- message I in the Discord after? <laughs> oh, that was, was so it? funny. Dude, who ratioed <laughs> Wait, what was it? Dude. Oh, that was very, very I didn't see funny. this. His <laughs> message. That Wait, was yeah, very yeah, funny. Let me pull it up. So I'm just going to read- uh, No, I'm going to send this to Zipper. Is it okay to like- Show people's Discord names. I don't know. It's just their, yeah, it's their server. If it's name. not their hashtag. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, Phil for me. I have a server, by the way, called Join or Pussy. It's I, I took this idea from Miles. My, oh, yeah. Miles has been doing this thing where he'll play <laughs> League. He doesn't stream this. He doesn't do anything. He played League with his buddies, like him and Josh. And if they get like someone who's inting on their team or is like being really fucking toxic, he'll 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 say Join or Pussy, Join or Pussy, and, and, and spam link the Discord. a Discord <laughs> link. And then he'll get him in a call and he'll. He'll just ask him what's they'll, they'll up. They'll chop it up. They'll chop it up. They'll, they'll be, be like, like, all right, so what's your problem with us? Yeah, like, what's your deal? And they, al they always have a terrible explanation because they're just toxic. And they, they, the, the guy either ends up saying something like, you know what, you're right. Like, I'm being fucking, I'm sorry, I had a hard day, fucking whatever. Or they just, like, leave. Yeah, that makes sense. Dude, yeah. it's so it's so funny. And I, I've, I've, I can't remember to do it in Valorant, but I want to start doing it. I'm sure you just... could also pivot it into a nice 1v1. I would never. I don't like one v one in games like that. I mean, Valorant one v ones are shit. I'll send this to you, Zipper. Um, but yeah, the the it was fun. It was like I just I want to win. It did give me a little itch. You know, I you know I realized from that tournament was Valorant is not one of those games that you Fortnite? can just. Sorry, I meant said Valorant. I meant Fortnite. Fortnite is not one of those games that you can just like have the gamer gene and then drop in and like do well. Like you you gotta like know what guns are good. You got in. You have to like play it for like a week, and then you can kind of use game machines. I disagree. Oh yeah. So here's here's my. So it's GGs. GGs. It's just it's just really good vibes. Everyone's just having a great time. Thanks, Lud, for putting this together. Thanks, Lud. I said this was the worst day of my life, and I've experienced the <laughs> death of both of my parents. I think it was. Uh, oh, maybe, and then, and is, then it someone, all, is it all tribe? All triv? All tribe. Someone all started tribe? spelling out ratio and emojis <laughs> on yeah. my phone. You got ratioed on that. That's tough. <laughs> So that was pretty funny. That's tough. Yeah, that's a crazy one to drop in the in the global. I thought it'd be funny because it's like, it's like a goddamn fucking, it's a softball factory in there. It's like the ice cream store. Yeah. You know? It's like, so I thought it'd be really funny. Yeah, it was great. They're I, all being teddy bear cute. I had a yeah. wonderful time. Shut I, the fuck up, I enjoyed. Amen. I enjoyed spectating you guys. I enjoyed helping get the replays. All the work that we did getting a beautiful relationship over this past week was undone when you didn't play. Yeah, it's true. I Think felt about betrayed. That. That's Think okay. About we'll it. go on another trip and we'll start <laughs> over. It's me and Ludwig's time. Yeah. It is me and Nick time. No. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, man. No smiley face. No smiley face. Yeah, I, I disagree though. I think having battle royale experience is the is the kicker. Because like you Maybe, can always yeah. there's long there's long gun, there's short gun, there's mid gun. You I know? mean, I See, will say why, Mendo that's... doesn't play. He dropped in. He installed for the first time. He's a god. That's why you have that's to be crazy. thankful. He's never played. Never played. Does he play Warzone? Well, I mean, he might have played like years ago. But Does he, he play Warzone? This. No, I think he plays Apex. That well, there it is. It's battle royale, right? It's it's a genre and it's got like mechanics of its own in, in terms of strategy and spacing. I, I have less than five minutes played in that game, so I wouldn't have known anything. And also, if you guys recall, I played PUBG for about fifteen to twenty hours of playtime and got 
zero kills. I don't know this. <laughs> is did? that real shit? Yeah, because because when we talked a long time ago about our biggest gamer L's, that's my that's biggest what he gamer said. L. Really? Yes, I played that many hours. I did have a terrible PC that literally could not load the map for the first five minutes of the game, so that did hurt me. <laughs> but <laughs> biggest that, gamer L. Hmm? Biggest gamer L. Biggest gamer L. Twenty hours in a game, and I did not kill a single I mean, guy. Losing to me in that one v one's got to hurt though too, you know. Don't recall Thanksgiving. That. <laughs> I, oh, you I remember. recall. There's video evidence. There's video. I'll show you the video later. I'll yeah. show you the video later. We'll what show about, you the video. What about when when I the video defeated you for Archie a spot on Team USA? Do you recall that? I, yeah, best of five. No, I don't. Didn't even go to last a, game, it, actually. But it was a fucked up best of five. 3-1. Yeah, but it was like a best of five split over two hours. True. That doesn't We played count. the last game because I had to go yeah, play soccer. I, I had a duty my team. <laughs> <laughs> Call it soccer. When he was in Stoke. Football. That's crazy. In Stoke on Trent. Football. Stoke on Trent. I'm stoked on Trent, bro. Yeah, man. We covered it all. There was so there was actually so much that happened. What's it your Rocket League, dude? Oh, I went to, yeah, I went to uh uh Rocket League Winter Major. Why? And, uh so okay, so when I worked at BTS, um one of the employees at BTS got hired to Psionics. And uh, she sent me a DM and was like, hey, do you want to come to the Winter Major? That's fucked up. She didn't message me, bro. Yeah, and she doesn't like you. No one does. We um, were in the trenches together. We hung together. out. It was great. We were in the trenches. JJ, you fucked up. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Are you making a threat? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you like dogs. <laughs> no. I got a laboratory. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. So I went kind of just like, because me and, me and Nick Yingling, uh, we, we sometimes just boot up Rocket League. It's my... It is the truly it is truly the only video game I play where I have no investment in being good, but I have so much fun playing it. Every other game I can't just play. I have to like I want to be good at it. And I'll spend the time to like try to learn the mechanics and like rank up. Here's why he's capping. Welcome. Okay. Welcome. Okay. Welcome okay. to the another yet another expose mm-hmm. on one of you Ba-da-ba. on one of you slobs. Okay. Oh, wait, uh, Nick once told me I thought you were going with that. that oh, I, told, I told this on the pod. That Rocket League was the game that he could have gone pro in. Yeah, I, th- I still think that. So I feel like that directly contradicts what you're saying. No, I just think that it's one of those things that I thought was really natural and intuitive. And I th- so I think the way I phrased it was, if any game I have the highest chance of like getting to that level in, I think it's that game. The reason was it felt the most intuitive to me. But, but that's it never decoupled felt, from how you play it. Never, it. it never felt worth the time to like you know do something like that. I'm also not saying, yeah, I could be a fucking pro. Car and a ball. I'm more, I'm more saying... Comparative to the rest of the games I play, that one has always felt the most intuitive. However, the point of this is me and Nick England love queuing up. We love being toxic, what talking shit to the other team, saying we, we start the game, we instantly call what the score is going to be. We say 6-1. Six, <laughs> six, so uh, they get two goals, we adjust, we say 6-2. Right. <laughs> uh, every single time they miss, what a shot, nice shot, nice shot. We, we know, we're, we're terrible. And like Rocket, Rocket League has like in-game comms and they, they're fucking horrible. Like it's, it sounds like you're talking through a microwave. <laughs> and uh, so you just, you know, if you scream at them, there's like a 50-50 chance you're coming out their television. Yeah. And it sounds uh, like they're telling console them players. they have Uno on their Xbox. Exactly. Yeah. So, we'll, so we're toxic. We yell at people. It's a fucking amazing time. It's so fun. Uh, JJ remembers that we like doing this, and so she hits us up. Would you like like guys like to come to the Winter Major? We're like, oh, us too. That's like, crazy that you got special star-studded. treatment from a Psionics employee <laughs> as one of the worst players of yeah. the game's history. Well, like in terms wait, of your toxicity, I'm Diamond. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, not your skill. Like you are what they don't want, ideally, right? I well, <laughs> I will say it is Candyland in, over in Rocket League Town. Rocket League is one of the most lucrative esports in the world because it's car and it's ball. There's no guns. There's no terrorists. No blood. Yeah. There's no skeletons. That's, I, I talked to uh, I, CJ. CJ was there. He's like a could be so, a terrorist. So ex pro gone caster, like probably one of the my favorite caster, like probably one of the best casters. Back to pro, he was in the tournament. Wait, is he the Australian guy? Yeah, I love that fucking he was, guy. He was in the tournament and he casted the That's tournament. That's so money. Wait, what? That's yeah. So, money. so so his team got eliminated kind of early. He's on Renegades. His team got eliminated kind of early, and they were like, "You want to cast the rest of it?" And he's just like. I'm here. And so he he did both. And I was like, dude, you might be one of the only people in esports who is like good, like that this good at both at the same time. Not like, oh, like maybe like your fifth Lauren and you play and then you cast it after or whatever. Um, I was like, that's pretty swag. Anyway, so I went to the event. Uh it was an awesome time. The event, it's I didn't realize Rocket League, fucking amazing spectator sport. It's hype. It is so, so fucking fun to, to watch. Understand. It's very similar to like actual soccer. Like there's like embedded chants. For like teams and like players, 
Uh, everyone wears jerseys, like the team, like the, tur- the the teams they like. Uh, there was a guy who every between every match was doing fifty squats, and the crowd was chanting every every number. Fifty, yeah, and was, they counted to fifty. They counted to fifty. I, that'd be annoying. The game, w- <laughs> grand finals games were starting, and they were still counting because he hadn't stopped yet. And well, he, you got to finish. So the he squats. wasn't in game. He was squatting, not playing. There wasn't a player. Oh. This is a guy in the crowd. Right. Oh. A guy in yeah. the crowd is squatting, and the whole crowd is yelling the number. Now I don't like it. And that. then the game starts, and they're still going. Right. He wants it to be about him, but it's about the car soccer Well, guys. 50 squats deserves it. There That's was a lot. a lot of want to be about them guys there, but because there was so many, they, it was like one collective crowd of people, so it felt a little better. Like there were pe- yeah. people wearing like NA over EU shirts. Oh, here's he the guy. Here's <laughs> the, the guy. showing us the squat guy. Yeah, uh, he yeah you know, he had good form. Fifty a good lot. Time. Can you do fifty dude, straight right he now? He busted down a bunch of squats. Uh, yes. No way. But I'd be I'd fifty be straight. Destroyed. A hundred bucks if you do it straight right now. I don't want to do it. It's such bad content. Fifty squats. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we just keep rolling. You stay in the background while I keep talking yeah. and telling the story. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think. Yeah, hey, go ahead. Yeah. Bust it down, bro. All right. Let's see your form first before I start talking again. I want to make sure you're not fucking. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he always looks funny when he squats. <laughs> it's tough. I know. Hey. I just looks. It looks hey. funny. It's not hey. a bad thing. I'm I, with you. I like that. You, <laughs> no, I like we that have you're the same it. thing. We're going. the same. Now you keep squatting, then, huh? Uh, at so at this event, something. Right. something so uh, this, so <laughs> I had a, a my childhood best friend was there. And I like, was. I haven't coincidentally. Seen him. Coincidentally, I haven't seen him in like years. And I we used to be neighbors when I was a child. When I literally when I was like one years old to like. Early teen, like early actual neighbors. neighbors, actual neighbors. Okay. Uh, that's like how I met them. They like, we like go over to their house Thanksgiving also. So I, uh, I, he was there and we met up because he saw I posted a tweet there, and uh, we met up and we're talking and there just happened to be a fuck ton of yard fans who were at this event, like like like, like so many. <laughs> happened to be, bro. You can't go anywhere without these guys. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> at the airport, that's why I kept going. Aiden from the yard, people always chirp around. So so I'm talking to my friend. And I'm not kidding. Every three or four seconds, someone walks by. Hey, can I get a picture with you? And I'm, I literally, after four, I look at him. I'm like, I promise my life is not like this. Like, this is, this is not something that happens all the time. And he's like, oh, no worry. He's like, kind of, he's like, kind of keeps up with what I, what I do, but he doesn't quite understand it. And, uh, and yeah, there must have been like 10, 11 people who just came by and then a bunch of people after. And I was like, we have so many people who watch our show who play mm-hmm. Rocket League. And so, I did not. So effortlessly cool. Okay. Well, Don't I didn't put this down. together. Uh, so that's interesting. Oh, you're you're struggling over there, slime. No, he's good. He's getting there, bro. He's getting there. But, well, the knees are bending less. I'm seeing. No, uh, well, that one looked great. The the event itself, like the actual event, really fucking good. Team Queso started round one losers, got all the way to grand finals, uh, lost to NRG in a game 13, 14. Damn, flips you off. That's crazy. Uh, God. anyway. Anyone listening, if you have the chance to go to a Rocket League event, I recommend it. I had a lot of fun. I'm probably going to sh- I'm probably going to try to go to another one soon. Uh, <laughs> I will continue flaming people online though. That's a sick fucking game. What if we start a Rocket League team, and it's just us? I would love that. So I've been asking you to play Rocket League with me for so long. I would love that. Hey, <laughs> I have this arrangement with Nick, <laughs> where if he comes, because he always comes to me and he's like, "I got a million dollar idea." And yeah, so I, and so finally I snapped. I was like, "Okay, your ideas sometimes are just like million dollar idea, bro. What you do is you create a background for iPhones, and and that's like okay. I this do remember that one? Yeah, no, so, no so, I do no. remember that. I one. said <laughs> he said I had this burger at the airport, yeah. bro. Yeah, fuck, dude. Let me the tell you, the burger was top five. Yeah, it was pretty good, dude. <laughs> oh. Burger, so that's burger, that's burger what he's top five. So he finally comes around. He's like, I got a million dollar idea. I'm like, okay, look, listen, shut the fuck up. If you come to me with an idea and I do it and I make a million dollars, I will give you half the money. But he hasn't he hasn't yet to come with an idea yet. Yeah, because now I'm saving him because I want to get half. It's a bad deal. <laughs> it is pretty fucked up. Why is it a fucked up? I, gave, I made you a million dollars, bro. No, because I'm I have to execute. But he's the marketing arm. That's what I'm that's what I realized. Is I don't need him. <laughs> so you're just gonna execute him yourself? What's up, gonna, bitch? Why, why make 500k? Why don't I make a million dollars? You're cooking up some million dollar ideas right now. It's like a background Co- for iPhone. I'm choosing. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to filter which one I yeah, want. Uh, All right. uh, no, first idea. Let's get a banger cheeseburger in the airport. <laughs> <laughs> what is this guys. idea? 
No, <laughs> fuck you. I'm not telling this <laughs> what story. What is this? It's, it's not a story anymore because you made fun of me already. So, so if I tell it, I'll just get made fun of more. Yeah. We it's, made it's fun a of lose, lose. after we were done recording the last episode because he didn't get around to one of his topics last time, which was how good the burger is in LAX. Yeah. You wrote that down? And, and dude, dude uh, we, damn, we shat on him. Bottom of you the don't barrel. remember shitting on him. No, dude. We <laughs> were like, crazy. oh, bro, fuck, yo. <laughs> but for real, though, but they put like mustard on it. Shit, dude. dude I, I should have wrote that. just shitting on Nick and he's just like so angry. <laughs> he's like, I should have wrote down. I had some great protein it's, bars. It's in so funny because the burger actually was really good. I, but, but, it, but it's not yeah. funny, is no, it? <laughs> it's just like no. It, well, hey. You guys, but you guys don't get it. it was really, it was love, really love, good. Though. Love the podcast. Yeah, that's great. It was. Really Eric good. said it was good too. You yeah, know, dude. I, dude, uh, Ludwig's new bit. <laughs> Three people. He's like. <laughs> Nick's trying so hard to be cool right now. Yeah. He's so he's putting so much effort into being cool right now. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. But it's a great bro. He's trying to eat it cool too. <laughs> oh, no. oh, so cheesy. Oh man, such a cheesy burger. Oh yeah, you guys. <laughs> Dude, I was so I was so mad at Dawson. We were fucking playing Fortnite. We're in the call. He gets in the call. He's like, "What are you guys doing?" And I'm like, "Dude, Dawson, this shit is so fun without building." And he was just like. Yeah, because you're fucking bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> that is like, right. And I'm Actually, like, you know what? Not this time. I'm having genuine fun, and I've been cut down like a tree. Dude, I got on Valorant, and I, or not Valorant, sorry. I got on Fortnite, and I was like playing with Yingling a couple nights ago. And I'm like, hey, check this out. I go into creative, and I do the only build pattern I know, which is two ramp, two wall under, two ramp, two wall under. I'm doing, I'm doing a little circle of my mouth. I've always thought that feels so satisfying and nice to do. And I've always thought like, oh, I could I could show someone this and they'd be like, oh, shit, you can build. And Yingling immediately goes, bro, that is so outdated. <laughs> oh, shit. And I'm like, I'm like, what? He's like, you will you won't even get the walls down. They'll just break them. <laughs> and I'm like, no, it's, it's cool. You're like, how do you know that? I'm like, I can still do it. I'm, I'm not rusty. And he's like, dude, that's a bad build. Yikes. Like, no. <laughs> Oh, he's it, too hip to it, it. it made me uh maybe kind of want uh, to land party. It was fun because yeah, we had to like take <sighs> computers over to. I mm-hmm. love doing that. It's so fun to, to Yingling's house, and it was it was cool. Mm-hmm. You know what else happened this weekend? We, mm-hmm. me and uh, Nick, went to an old friend's house, and it was like a smash, like it was like almost a reunion. A lot of know? the people we tell random stories about, like, like fucking, you know active and like all these random people we bring up on the podcast the goat. they were all there active yeah. was there active was dude, there dude he was there but let, me, I, on, let I, me let me rattle some shit i snagged off. a photo i want to i actually want to show this this is so if you've ever heard a, a uh if you've ever heard a story about active on this podcast just know this is the t-shirt he was wearing <laughs> at the party oh you're saying at it's the a zipper party. yeah yeah so <laughs> that shirt is so amazing so couple things update uh he he said, uh, "If if I had the vaccine, I need to get baptized immediately." He's uh, no more guns. Um, oh wow! Hasn't beat off in years. <laughs> um, what else? That the the Earth is flat. We're, dude, I'm not. What? Yeah, it was insane. He's Were the these, first human to believe all four of those simultaneously. Was no. these in order? I, I sent a lovely one. Or dispersed no. throughout the, the night. This it was just a swirling central point pyramid. Anti-vax. But also flat Earth, but also anti-gun. Also, the aliens are outside of the Earth dome, as opposed to inside. Right. Yeah. Well, Why yeah, I agree with be, that. If they're inside it, they aren't aliens. But they're really. there. I agree with that. But yeah, it was it was that was great. We saw just a lot of old friends, and it was uh, dude. There was this moment where I was like, I was playing. I'm on a setup. I'm playing melee with Mega Christmas and Zio, and they're like, they're like six times better than they used to be. I'm the same skill. Like, I'm getting guys, but I'm having a lot of fun and it's like all these people I used to hang out with and and then Frank Ocean comes on because it's our friend's house and he's just playing. For once, he played Drake for four hours straight next to his Drake cutout, but then he also <laughs> turned on Frank Ocean and Frank Ocean had that album that came out in like, I think 2017 summer and it was just like this beautiful summer of like, all I did was like play Melee with like all these guys and it was just like connected and I was like really, it was, I was sad. I was nostalgic, but not like in the way that it's gone. Because I'm here. longing for a feeling that is. But I'm doing it right now, yeah, right? But it's not the same. But it's different now. Not the same. And it was like I, I just had this like really heavy moment of like, damn, that was like, those are the best years of my life. Yeah, I had. I had. I had a, this is the shirt Active was wearing. <laughs> damn! <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. That's a fire shirt. That's not That's a insane. fucking joke, to the, brother. To the audio listeners, uh, it's Ned Flanders. He has tattoos. He's done up like a. Like old tattoo art, and he has a is a neck tattoo with a cross, and it says "Bless the Hood." 
OG family. He also has a teardrop, so he's murdered someone. Yeah, he has a yeah. ki- he has That's a kill, and obviously insane. a spider web on the back of his hand. Um, yeah, and he's praying to God because you know that's what. Who else is he gonna pray about. to? Yeah. Um, I was also told that if Fucking I don't get I if I get back baptized in it, and they say the the Lord Jesus or they say anything about the Holy Trinity, that's garbage. That's trash. It needs to be Jesus Christ or Jesus. But what about God? No. No. They cut him out? Not yeah, a God fan wasn't there. Of, uh, not a fan of Catholics, this guy. Wait, who the... Nobody's going son only. That's not even a... That's you, not a you sect. Know, you know what Active did do at this party? He rolls up and he's like, who's trying to play Mario Party? That was crazy. And I'm I, I'm like... I literally... I'm like laughing because everyone was like talking about it. And I'm like, oh, what's your favorite one? And he, he pulls out a physical copy of Mario Party 4. And he says, I got Mario Party 4 right here. <laughs> and I'm like... Oh, you don't want to do that, man. It's just the only game you like don't want to do. You're a cartoon villain. I, I, they pull yeah. out the game. You're like, <laughs> but I actually, I actually didn't want to play. I was like, it's 20 turns. Uh, you know, we're gonna win. Whatever. I don't want to play. It's like I was like, you don't want to do that, man. And he, you know, it's active, so he's just like, run it right now. He's like button mashing. There's no way you beat me. And I'm like, all right. Well, he's like, I'll smash those little hammers. All right. We, so first we ran domination. I started at eight seconds. Yeah. You, you know how that Gotta. went. Handicap. Uh, <laughs> you hit 160. Uh, yes, yes, sir. <laughs> And then we and then we played. Good, good job, son. Thank you, Dad. Uh, and then and then we played. Uh, we played a full match. And that was not pretty. It was just a demolition. It was a demolition. Was it teams? Although he did say something really funny, where I was like, "Bro, I hit the in the mashing and domination." I was like, "I hit the cap every time." He says, "But I have no ceilings." <laughs> and I was like, Damn. I literally look over at Victor and I say, "Well, what do I say about that?" <laughs> you won the game, lost the war. Yeah, I I consider that an L from the start. Yeah, um, Mario Party came was not close. Nine stars to one. Yeah, that's the thing. But it's like not fun to play. It's not fun because it's like just a really long cutscene. Yeah, that with like a very very mild skill checks of like, oh, can you do the mash thing still? Okay, great. Uh, okay, listen. If you were just describe Mario Party to someone that hated it, they would love what you just said right now. Why? You because you, you essentially said the game is like long and boring with mild skill checks. Yeah. Do you believe that? If you are good enough against bad people, yeah. Okay. If I'm playing other good people, it's interesting because okay. then there's like a competitive. It's not there's a skill like a because then because then the board is part of the game again, right? Like when you're playing against bad players, the board is like waiting zone for the mini games, mm. but the mini games are also a waiting zone because you know how to win all of them, right? So it's like, yeah, you yeah. Re- really, are- really, the interesting part is the like the RNG games. It's yeah. like, oh, most bad? people are bad enough that you can just win all the mini games and then just mash your control on your head when it's on the board and you will win at the end. Because you have so many more coins in minigame star and all that. Yeah, because they have no board strategy. Yeah. I, I did the most fucked up shit I've ever done in my Mario Party career the other day. This isn't even podcast interesting. I just want to tell you about it. Uh-huh. Uh, I was playing with Ben at Smash Camp. And I had, I had been keeping track in my head of the spaces we had landed on. Right. And I had like a, a statistical certainty that the next, like the roll that was next, because I, the, the number was, was a hidden block. And it was. And I called it. Ben can attest to this. I said, I said, that's a hidden block. And he landed on the hidden block. I hadn't said it the whole game. That's wow. fucked up. I like that. And I was that's like, counting cards, essentially. And, I was just, and, I, and, and everyone in the room was just like, let's fucking reset. Let's go next. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you just quit the game after that well, one? We didn't actually, but yeah, they were just yeah. like, that's fucked up. Yeah. And I'd never really done it before, so I was like, no, I, that's sick. I that's a great call up. Uh, there, there was too much drama this week. Dude, what's wrong with drama? Wait, me. 90 minutes? It but we still have up. to plug our sponsor. Well, we can just do it at the end and then throw it in. And throw it in. Yeah, It's a secret sponsor. Who knows what it'll be? You already they, saw it in the middle, presumably. It. Who knows? Who, I don't. Could be anyone. We could be sponsored by uh, dog ropes. <laughs> you know, dog ropes. Breakfast cereal. <laughs> you eat it. <laughs> oh, I love dog. I used to be no. my, is my old old ass Twitch. Uh, like when you end the yeah, screen, I remember that was a dog with teeth with that was smiling. Teeth. Yeah. yeah. Why'd you have that? I googled dog smiling in 2016 and added it. That's nuts. When I did my first stream in 2016. You just kept it. I kept it. Do you think you're a W streamer? <laughs> He's an L friend. No, I'm not an you're L, an L a, friend. I think you are an no, L friend. Tara called he, me an L he, friend. He, he, Ludwig said thank you today uh, to Nick Yingling who brought him coffee because it was on stream. No, I always say thank you to Nick Yingling. Why? Specifically him. Why? Hey. Because it was on stream. Can I tell you guys something? Hey. You know, yesterday, you know, I spent $60,000. What? Mm-hmm. He did. You want to know what I bought? A car, I hope, or a down payment on a house. Tell you in the primo. What? Uh, football tickets? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you buy? Goodbye, everyone. What'd you buy? Goodbye, everyone. See you in the Patreon episode. <laughs>